and uh, Jason won in the earlier rounds with a scoreline of 11-5. So Thors Thorsten's uh, gunning for revenge here. <laughs> Should be uh, a cracking match, so uh, stay glued to your seats. Still a few minutes before the match starts. Grab yourself uh, a cup of tea or coffee or beer or whiskey, whatever you drink, and uh, relax and enjoy this uh, awesome match. We have to tell the guys who are watching us, this is the last quarterfinal. Jason Shaw or uh, Thorsten Hoffman will face in the semi-final tomorrow around 3 o'clock Mr. Eklund Kach and the first semi-final tomorrow morning at 11 in the morning uh, Romanian time is Chris Melling against the uh, Romanian champion Ioan Ladani who upset uh, Fedor Gors today yeah and I watched that match and uh, boy did he play strong towards the end of the match I think he was losing by a scoreline of 8-2 or 8-3, something like that. Yeah. And uh, he just grinded and grinded, came out with some brilliant shots, brilliant runouts, and uh, uh, won by 13-11 uh, in the end. Yeah. yeah. And that was a, a major upset. Fedor, a big favorite on the paper. But uh, just goes to show the, the, the strength and mentality of this player, Lohan Ladani. And uh, the funny thing is, he wasn't going to enter the tournament. He was uh, yeah. lastminute.com, <laughs> and uh, he found a sponsor to put him in the, the tournament, paid his entry fee, and here he is with a, with a chance to win the tournament. <laughs> what, a, what a story that would be if he goes on to win it. Yeah, it's like Denmark in '92. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> from, uh, from the beach uh, to the trophy. Yeah. Yeah, I spoke uh, with Latani two weeks ago. Uh, told you maybe he came in Bucharest for these local tournaments and uh, I, I asked him are you gonna play the Whirlpool series and he says well it's a lot of money there are a lot of good uh, players here I know my level I'm not sure <laughs> but uh, yeah he he's got a good chance of uh, winning the trophy now he's already yeah. made a, a bit of cash well he is 2000 guaranteed yeah yeah okay, something so like that so not bad so we have a uh, guess here guys I have to tell you that uh, after the British squad will be here I will be out for this evening and I will leave you with the pros uh, I will be here with you tomorrow morning at 11 to open the show with Chris Melling playing uh, tomorrow at 11 against uh, Mr. Ladani and uh, in this evening uh, after this match will start probably uh, along with uh, Imran Majid will be Chris Melling and uh, Darren Appleton so we are waiting for them until then uh, bear with me if he gets out of his pit yeah I don't know I haven't seen him yet in the in the pool room <laughs> is he here yet Tops? So his MIA <laughs> is missing in action, that's. And uh, Chris is uh, here. How was your afternoon, Chris? <laughs> yeah, so Chris uh, played his court final match earlier today. Uh, I think it was a 12 o'clock start, and he played Wojciech Szewczyk on Poland. And uh, one with a scoreline of 13-11, uh, I believe. 13-9. Sorry. Yeah, 13-9. Whoa. You lost nine frames? <laughs> it, was, uh, <laughs> it was actually a good match with uh, some ups and downs. Chris had a commanding lead, then uh, let it slip. A couple of unforced errors, and then let him back into the match. And then he, he got quite close at one stage. There's a couple of racks in it, or one rack in it at one stage. Yeah, there was a couple of instances in the match where, um, obviously from the commentary box, it looked like I could play a certain shot. Um, I don't know if you remember the shot where I broke and made three spots, solids, yeah. and I cut the ball in the corner and scratched in the corner off the yeah, ball. Yeah, I couldn't yeah. physically play any other shot. Right. Uh, right I right. couldn't screw it and miss the other ball. And then the shot where I tried to roll up to the ball and just leave him sat on it, Yeah. 
the ball turned off about an okay. inch and a half. Oh, I only I just hit the ball. Yeah, yeah. As, oh. long, as long as I hit that ball full in the face, he can't win the game. I did say that. Maybe there was a l little bit of chalk. Or yeah, if, if you look, if you look at the game, when I, when I played the shot, I actually threw my hands in the air. Right. As if to right. say, I can't believe how much that's turned off. Yeah. But yeah. it happens. Anyway, good win, pal. Make sure you win it. I've got you at 20 to 1. <laughs> 20 to 1? Yeah. <laughs> Well, like the, my friend who actually does the book for uh, William Hill <laughs> um, put a post on my Facebook saying that you're 20 to 1 and uh, you're not as good as you used to be, so I don't think you can win it. <laughs> well, nice friend. I wonder what he's thinking now. Yeah, well, William Hill actually put a, a special bet on Chris. He was uh, formerly 10 to 1 outright to win the tournament. But they put a special bet on, giving 20 to 1 on Chris. Now you're telling me. And uh, if you think that's not value, there's something <laughs> wrong with you. They still get bets? <laughs> um, I think I probably I think you, you, still you are now yeah. 4 to 1. <laughs> probably. I haven't actually had a look, so uh, I don't know the outright betting or the match betting. I mean, if I had to price this match up, um, I think Jason's eight to thirteen on maybe maybe one uh, four to seven, something like that. He is uh, definitely a favourite, and he's uh, beaten Thorsten already once. Uh, he's definitely favourite. Obviously, he's one of the best players in the world right now, so the book is always going to make him favourite. But uh, Thorsten's no pushover, you know. He's a he's a multiple uh, champion, and he's. Uh, a very good eight ball player. He kind of uh, specializes in straight ball, which is a kind of similar game to eight ball with uh, lots of balls on the tables. And he, he has the patterns down, you know, from playing straight ball. Always thinks uh, a lot of shots ahead and uh, maps out his, uh, his patterns very well. So I, th I think the deciding factor is going to be the break. What do you what do you think? Well, I think it's a contrasting styles. To be honest, you've got obviously got Jason, who's quick fire, doesn't hardly miss a shot, and then you've got Torsten, who's um, he takes his time a little bit, he, he calculates every shot. It's more methodical. But yeah. he doesn't miss much either. No. He, obviously, he looks different because of the style of the player, but he's uh, certainly a world beater. That's without a doubt. Definitely. Regarding the breaking, I have a question for you, Chris. I watched your match from the quarterfinals, and uh, I couldn't help that uh, to notice that um, from your legal breaks, I think in um, four out of five situations, you've always made one solid, one stripe, and the cue ball was downtown. Is this a control break because I think it's the ideal situation to have uh, to choose, not to play what you get. Yeah, obviously, if you can make. Can you control to put one solid, one stripe? No. No, you because can't. You, you can't it control seems to that. me that it was uh, calculated for you. No, you, you can't control that. It's, it's basically, you're just hoping to make a ball. I mean, if somebody said to me, you're going to make a ball on every break, regardless of which set it was, I'd take it. Yeah. Yeah, that's uh, sheer luck, making a, yeah. a, a ball from each set, a solid and a stripe. Um, but it's a beautiful yeah. problem to have. Be <laughs> because it was like, okay, yeah, you can I get to then, choose. Yeah. Yeah. So that's much easier for the player. We have Max Eberly online. Hi, Max, mm -hmm. how are you? Very good player from uh, America, Max. I've known him a long time. Well, it's good hours for them now. They are awake. It's noon, I think. Well, I can see Darren is uh, he's here. Yeah. So, guys, um, Ciprian will be out. I will leave you. I will leave you with uh, the British squad. And uh, you will hear me tomorrow morning at 11. So, Daz will take my place here with uh, Jim and Chris. So, uh, have a nice evening with them. I will be back with you tomorrow. Ha, <laughs>
Carl Hooley is asking, Imran staying on commentary with Tubbs. Yes, uh, I'm going to be with Tubbs and uh, uh, Darren Appleton himself. Uh, three of us going to do a crew commentary. Hello, Darren. Where have you been, pal? Where the have you been? The three musketeers are here. Yeah, Darren's obviously the founder of the World Pool series, and he's, he's very busy doing other stuff apart from commentary, you know, interviews and stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, being kept on his toes. Well, ladies and gentlemen. Pleasure of Darren Appleton in the box with me and Chris Melling. Just can't see the screen. Who do, who do you like in this match then? Well, um, Jason's beaten Thorsten already once in this tournament and uh, I think he's going to have the bit between his teeth and uh, I think he's going to put more of a fight up and uh, I think this one could go close, but if I had to, if I had to bet, slightly edge Jason, and I think the break is going to be a telling factor. What do you think, Chris? Yeah, I think Jason's uh, break is a lot more consistent than Torsten's. Uh, he seems to control it a lot more, but Torsten's one of them players that when he gets on a roll, he's very hard to peg back and. Uh, you can never write him off against anybody. Yeah, they were, we were saying yesterday, Thorsten's one of those guys, like, uh, when he gets to the latter stages of a tournament, he kind of um, starts playing really well. He either goes out first round or he, he kind of wins a tournament. Isn't that right, Darren? Yeah, it's a strange one we were talking about earlier today. I mean, he's one of them players what's very inconsistent. He'll go missing for six months and then he'll just pop up and win a tournament from nowhere. And obviously, he's created a great CV for himself. Uh, but he's very inconsistent. And it's strange, really, because he's like, obviously, he's pretty solid. He's, he plays tight. He plays a tight cue ball. His patterns are, are pretty good. And uh, I think, what, yeah, like I said, once he gets to the quarters onwards, he, he always seems to kick on. He's not frightened to win. And, uh, yeah, I mean... Even though he probably don't break as consistently as good as Jason, he still breaks good enough. And sometimes you, you can miss it the break and still make balls. And uh, and also we t we play take what you make. So sometimes you can get punished for a good break also. Yeah, I mean saying that it's uh, when they were practicing, Thorsten was breaking like a medium to hard speed and getting balls in the side pockets, where Jason was hitting them 100 mile an hour and uh, not getting a ball. So. I don't know, that's a bit of a funny one. Yeah, that's what I was doing when I was breaking. I wasn't hitting them hard. No, you were hitting like medium, medi pace. medium to hard speed and you were getting a ball in the side most of the time. I think sometimes you can hit the break too hard. I mean, I was I played a match yesterday with uh, Mark Bisterbosch and his very first break, he hit the lampshade with a cue ball. Oh, he's got an enormous it, break. It was um, if the lampshade hadn't been there, I reckon the cue ball would have probably jumped about yeah, eight feet. Yeah, yeah. Probably one of the hardest pro breaks in the world right now. People, he's a bit of an unknown unknown character, but really he's got an awesome break. Uh, a lot really of guys hard. got big breaks now. I think I think the well, I think we were talking about it earlier, Imran, with the uh, the uh, technology, keep improving this the technology. So yeah, uh, with the, the break shafts, the breaking has become easier. Yeah, with the especially the the BK rough by uh, Predator. Yeah, that's uh, that's a great break. Awesome, awesome. Uh, well, Break shaft. Break, great break shot there. But Catchy also breaks great also. That was a great break, but uh, not too sure if he's potted. Which, which suit is on? Well, I think he's made one of each. That's good if you make one of each. It gives him the option of the old table. 
Yeah, he has made one of each. If so, we'd be taking solids because that stripe near the free ball is no good. I think that may go, Daz. I'm not 100% sure, but if it doesn't, like you say, you can make the two and just either stop the cue ball dead and make the three or... From where the cue ball is now, it looks like he can make that stripe from there. Yeah, well, if he can, I think you've got to take yeah, it now. Yeah, if he can, yeah. Maybe he can. He's winding up to play something down there. Yeah. Is the it, eight ball might be the biggest problem if he's got to take solids. Yeah, he's, he's going to brush the, the three ball, so he needs to be a little bit careful. Oh, he's taking uh, he's right solids, yeah. He's probably played the right shot there. Good yeah. shot there. A little bit unlucky to uh, and land jacked up. Well, his hardest, his hardest uh, ball now is the eight ball. Everything's in the open. So he's, uh, he's got to be a little bit careful when you're playing balls in the side pockets. They are a little bit tight and they can they can just uh, run around the, the pocket and bounce out. It looks like that's a pink solid next to the eight ball. If that's the case, that helps him, I think. And especially if that's uh, the five on the right hand side rail, close to the rail. Yeah, because he can, he can play the five and then the four in the side and maybe screw into the nine to play the eight in the side as well. Yeah. Yeah, he's got plenty of options there. He's all a little chuffed with this position. I think he can play the seven ball first. The seven, I think. Yeah, it's a kind of... Oh, he's going to punch the free ball. I'm going to bear down on these shots. I've seen a couple of these missed today. Careless. Matt, uh, what's his name? Uh, the <laughs> uh, your opponent did the same on the seven ball, Chris. He did, yeah. It was uh, out of my seat like a shot when he missed that ball. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, wood check. He played very good, Chris. You look like you got a little bit of uh, fire in your tummy this week. You no, know, it's a little, little uh, eye of a tiger look this week. Yeah, playing playing pretty well. I've had a, a month off. I've been on holiday a couple of times. So I uh, had a break. But obviously, first couple of matches, you kind of a little bit out of sorts but well, eight, eight balls the kind of game you don't really totally have to be in stroke you know because you're not making really that many tough shots are you you're yeah the only difference with this eight ball to say let's say Chinese eight ball or English eight ball is the fact that you you play a lot of balls up the rails on nine ball where you, you don't in English pool yeah, yeah. Uh, you tend to knock the ball out so it's slightly different yeah yeah but you know, you, you still should be running out if you get a chance. If yeah, I think I think the big thing I know for you is that once you lost that match against uh, Fedor Gorst, you seemed to be really angry, which I think helped you. Oh, well, that's, that's not good. That's a poor decision for me, that is to cannon the eight there. Can he screw into the nine there? With the angry if he eight? couldn't, I, I, I understand the way he's played it, but... Yeah, if he couldn't... He's if you're going to play it, you've got to play that hard, because that can't happen if you play that hard. I think he did. We played it as hard as he could. He did pound that ball into the side. I don't. I think well, it's a bit flat on the ball. To not leave the right angle on the last yeah, ball to yeah, get on the eight yeah. ball. Can he bank it? Yeah, 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 yeah. He I can bank the shot. I think he's, he's called the cross he's bank. Ball the way, he's very good at banking balls. I know that. Oh, never easy on a new cloth though. Well, this is what uh, really can determine the match. Mistakes like that. Uh, three nil. Torsten confidence is going to be very high. Obviously, he lost to Jason earlier in the tournament, so he's uh, obviously you'd expect him to play better than what he did in that match, and he, uh, he'll be keyed up for the match because of that, I think. Yeah, he's um, he's very difficult to beat. He's Torsten. Doesn't make too many mistakes, and I, I feel that when I've ever played him, I've always had to play really, really well yeah. and take nearly every chance, or more or less every chance yeah. that you get. Um, luckily for me, I've got a decent record against him, but. Yeah. You know, every match is totally different. You've always got to give him the respect he deserves. Yeah, obviously, multiple world champion. Yeah, I think Tarson's really suited to eight ball in games like straight pull. Yeah. He plays short positional shots and yeah, yeah. Uh, he's a bit stabby on the cue action, but he gets the job done. I mean, correct me if I'm, I'm wrong, but do you think his table play in eight ball is actually better than Jason's? Mm, it's a tough one. I think Jason plays... Uh, I think Jason... Uh, Obviously, he's a bit loose with a cue ball, so I won't say he plays perfect patterns even though he comes back from comes from eight ball, but it's a different type of eight ball than I can pull. Yeah, would, would uh, you slightly... Obviously, he's still a great eight ball player on these tables as well. I mean, he's great at all games, but yeah, I mean, yeah. Torsten, I'd say outside of the British players, he probably plays the best patterns. Right. Outside of the British players. Out, out of all, everyone else around the world, I mean, maybe taking Efren out of the equation. Yeah. I think uh, Ralph, Ralph plays good, doesn't yeah, he? Ra well, yeah, Ralph does, but he doesn't seem to get the results for some reason. 
But Torsten has had sec uh, uh, success at eight ball, hasn't he? he? Obviously won the IPT. He got to the final of the World Eight Ball one year. Oh yeah, I the IPT. I think he actually missed a straight in eight ball to beat Wu Chia Ching, uh, Ill Hill. Really? Yeah. So he has that, and he's won a lot in the European Juniors uh, eight ball discipline. I think the seniors when he when he when he lived in Europe. So he's an established eight ball player, and he's consistent, isn't he, on the World Pool Series without winning. I know he's had a lot of last sixteens, a lot of quarterfinals. I don't yeah, think he's had a yeah. semi final, which is a yeah. bit of a surprise, really, yeah. to say this is the seventh tournament. And it was a bit of a surprise that uh, Chris hasn't been to a final yet. So a great opportunity for you tomorrow, Chris, to get your first World Pool Series final. Yeah, I think I've been ultra consistent over the past two seasons. Yeah, you've been a bit uh, like myself. Well, quarters and semis of virtually yeah. every, every single yeah. event. Yeah, I've seen you won the. The D Derby City Nine Ball earlier on. Yeah, I've, I've had a good year, but obviously there's a long way to go, and you know like people keep asking silly questions about the Moscone, and you've just got to keep going, keep battling, and do your best, and what will be will be. Yeah, you just got to keep winning some tournaments. That's all you can do. End of the day, keep winning tournaments. You're making money, and your uh, confidence is high. Uh, the, the captain's here, Marcus. How are oh, we all doing, ladies? Uh, Marcus Shamat. Uh, Chris is begging for a pick. I don't beg. <laughs> <laughs> I think Marcus Captain. knows that I don't beg. I've got in by qualification every time. Oh, and I beat your MVP yesterday, pal. Uh, yes, yesterday I beat your MVP, Joshua yeah, Phillips. So I would like, uh, I, I, I would like some brownie points, also, please. Scold him. <laughs> Put on a clinic against yeah. Joshua, didn't you? I, 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 had a, I had a flashback. Yeah, just uh, PM me your uh, address, Marcus, and I'll send you them flowers. Yeah, and the chocolates. <laughs> It was that much of a shock to the system. Obviously, I, I went out the following match. Yeah, but you've obviously been out of the game for a uh, while, Daz, obviously. It's tough when you're playing with no, no, no game, let's say, and no confidence. Yeah. Well, confidence. We, we had a guy yesterday... Toughest game in the world with no confidence and no uh, practice. Yeah, we had a guy yesterday asking what the problem was, why you haven't played, and obviously that's not our place to really say. Um, but we did mention that you're obviously... You'll be back very shortly to your... All time great. Well, for me, it's, I've enjoyed the break, to be honest. Obviously, I've tried to play a little bit, uh, but uh, I haven't, I haven't uh, been able to play, really. It but looks like Thorsten next here year. is... Um, I'll be back next year, full time, and... Uh, he solved his problem. He can play the, the mix. 10 off the 5, yeah. So, now, this has opened up the whole rack. And, uh, he tells, but he needs to get rid of that 11 ball. For, for, for me, he has to go... He has to go the stripe. Is it the 15 on the side 15, rail? Yeah. And then try and bring the cue ball in between the gap to leave the option of both balls, because then he's got an angle to go onto the 11 to be get back across for the uh, eight ball in the opposite corner. You could also. He uh, might even leave the, well, the 11 ball last. I think if that stripe wasn't in the way, yeah, I think he'd take the nine ball now, and then, and then play for the 11. That would be my uh, way, definitely. Pot the nine, it just leave like the cue ball past the seven. It looks like he's going to miss it, though, I think. If he plays with a touch of right-hand side, he'd just leave a, a tougher 11 ball than what he would like. Well, he's not the greatest with the rest, uh, or the rake, as some people like to call it. He holds it very strange. Or the bridge. Or the bridge. But he's not going to miss this ball. Well, he shouldn't. As you can see how he's holding the bridge there, that's not a traditional way to hold it. Yeah. And that's perfect. Yeah, it is okay to leave the 11 down the rail last. Yeah, he's going to leave a half ball 11. It's like you say, you, you, wouldn't, you wouldn't do this on an English 8-ball table no. or anything like that, or a Chinese 8-ball table, but on these tables, it's largely the angle is, is a bit is a massive favourite, isn't it, to make it? Yeah, his, his pattern play is really good. I, I really like his patterns. Yeah. But going back to what you were saying about Jason and Torsten, obviously, I think Jason's cue ball is a little bit slack. And the reason with that is very similar to me. He's a great shot maker, yeah. so he relies on his shot making a, yeah. a little bit. Yeah. Like I'm not saying I'm a great shot maker, but I like to leave myself an option, a chance, rather than be perfect all the time. I think the thing with you and Jason is that you both, especially you, you both see the game great and you see the finish great, but you don't always stick to your plan because you're a little bit looser with yeah, the cue ball. You have to come out with recovery shots, which yeah. you did earlier in that match when you played the pole. You came out with some good uh, recovery shots. Yeah, I played a few. I got a couple of good rolls as well. Yeah, well Especially the one when I uh, knocked the ball out and it can and the other bad ball out in the same shot. I knew uh, I knew Appleton would be giving me grief for that one. Yeah, 
because uh, I, I'll always make sure that happens. <laughs> well, Torsten 4-0 against Jason, so uh, even though it's early doors, it's very worrying times, I think. Yeah, bad mistake by Jason that last rack. Uh, he played to develop the eight ball in a, to a portable position. But because uh, with Torsten, he's a, he's a confidence player, obviously. I think we all know that. I mean, most players are, but Torsten especially, when he gets his confidence and he gets that spring in the step, he's, uh, he'll just keep grinding away. He's not going to give anything away, is he? So Jason's really got to come with it. Maybe Thorsten for the Moscone Cup. Mm -hmm. Well, it's... Uh, well, anything can happen. I mean, it's there's World one. Nine Ball to still come. The, yeah. uh, what's it called? The International Open in the US. US. Yeah. You've got the uh, World China Open. Uh, the World Ten Ball, if it goes ahead. I mean, anyone it's who snaps one of them tournaments off, yeah. uh, they're right in the mix. Yeah, early days at the moment. And to be fair to Torsten, you've got to say he's been very unfortunate mm -hmm. to, to have only played in the Moscow Cup three times. Yeah. With what he's won. I mean, I remember one time he was World Number One, World Nine Ball champion, and he still didn't make and it. he won the World Championship, didn't get in. I mean, yeah. And he won a couple of other tournaments as well. I mean, what what else have you got to do, really? That, that must have been a tough pill to swallow, eh? Well, won I think he was. He is rightly very bitter about it. I've spoke to him a few times about it, and uh, it's a very sour subject, and uh, I don't blame him. Uh, I, did, I did feel sorry for him particularly that year. Yeah, I did. I think everyone did. And he actually, the last time he played in the Moscone Cup, he was our best player in 2009 when we were playing in Vegas, and that's the last time USA beat us. And uh, he was our MVP. So he's definitely been a bit unfortunate to think that he's not played in the Moscone in the last nine years, Chris. See, and a little, 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 little bit too times. hard. A little bit too hard, dry. Yeah, the balls go past the side pocket. Too much power. Yeah, he needs to take a little bit off. He needs to suss that out. Well, it's not an easy finish. I know he's left the uh, stripes on, but it's not an easy finish whatsoever. Well, even though he's come up dry, you've got to say he's a bit unlucky. Yeah, because that, 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 ball, that, I mean, that well. ball was about to drop and yeah. just hang up. Well, what Jason has to do in this, in this situation is um, similar I, to what I do is if I'm three or four games behind, I try and win mini sessions 3-1 or 4-0. Yeah. Uh, mm. And if you can win 2-3-1, you've obviously won 6-2. So you're back in the match. Uh, I can I can see the out here. So he plays that ball. Then he plays this, rolls up, and plays that in there. In the opposite. Well, it's perfect now. He runs a good call. Yeah, probably the best play he made all day. Just got to be careful <laughs> he doesn't catch the middle jaw. He's not a mile away from going into it. Well, he can pinch the pocket a little bit, can he? If he he can. Stop. He can play it into the. You don't have to play it, but I think he's. I think he's looked perfect to me. Yeah, so he can just roll up and play that. I think it's the 15 into the opposite corner pocket. But his other options as well. Also, if if he lands like, I don't know, he, he could even play for. He could. I mean, he, I'm guessing the 10 ball passes the three, which makes a big difference. If, of course, that could be an option if the he can. The three. The three is at the top of the table. Oh, whatever. It's seven. Sorry. And not, into the left side pocket. Not put your glasses on today, pal. Oh, it'd be nice if we could get a, a proper chair. <laughs> like sat at the back here, in the background. Like been on the back of the bus. Come in a bit. Oh, Imran's made a bit of space for me. Well, he's played a decent shot there. Because what he can do is leave an half ball angle after this for the nine and stun over to the side rail. The only problem is he's going to still have a problem with the 15. Is there a case of playing the nine in the side now and going three rails? And well, I think the right shot is pop the ten, run through, play the 15, pop the nine in the centre and run through for the 13 in the opposite corner. OK, not a bad well, Can he do that? Can he, can he or, miss the nine? Or, yeah, I think your way was better, but he's, he, he's yeah. playing on that ball now. Well, he's got to make sure that he lands low on this ball because yeah. if he lands high, he may not have a shot to get on the yeah. 15. Yeah. Or he's going to land straight. So you can take the 15 in the top of the right. Yeah. He has to land perfect here, really. Yeah. He would have been better getting rid of the 15 if he could have done. He, he, he wants to be low or straight. How's the cue ball? Uh, no good. Not great. Not great. Now he's in trouble for the simple so reason he's scratching. The harder he hits this, the more he's going to scratch. He's got to spin this with the inside. I think he can miss the scratch. Well, yeah. this is a tough shot. I think he's missing the scratch, but... I, can, I think he can... I think the cue ball's coming between the... The pocket and the first diamond. No, I think he can spin it and go between the eight yeah, and five. No, I don't think he can do it. No, I'm not, I'm not convinced he can do that. I think the cue ball's going to go too wide if he does that, but we'll see. Maybe he can. Got to play this slower though, with a lot of spin. Yeah, you got to like stroke this in. Let the, let the, let the English take effect. Might be a case of just making it and playing a cross cross bank on the 15. Yeah, or even cut it in the top pocket. 
I think he's playing your shot, Imran. Got to be careful of the scratch in the side pocket if he plays this with a bit of pace. No. No. Mm. And he's going to go jumped. close to the scratch. He did play my shot. He did shot. play good, though. We are making it, sorry. Even though he did make it, he did get the cue ball where he wanted it. Well, Jason mm. needs to run out now. This is a great chance for him. It's up a bit on that one, isn't it? Yeah, he does jump up a little bit, does Torsten. Yeah, it was a bit yeah, edgy on that shot. Uh, Jason, big uh, big gift here, which he needed, and that's what he needs really. Got alternate break, he's a bit of help. Yeah, he's got quite a few stop shots here: the six, the one, the three. Uh, Matthew Lester says, if each if each of you had to pick a wild card for the Moscone Cup, who would it be? A wild card. Um, I, I, well, I think there's going to be two wildcard picks. Well, there's definitely two well, there's wild definitely card picks. Wild card picks. Uh, one of them would uh, have to be uh, Joshua. And you can't count Jason or Niels out. And uh, Chris Melling's got a case as well. Um, it's well, a tough one to call. I think, at the moment, the moment. I think at the moment, if you're picking it right now, then there's a bunch of players in the mix in there. I think Joshua, Jason. Niels, uh, obviously Albin and Chris. But like you said earlier, uh, still Alex early days. Kazakis, I probably put them the front runners. Well, obviously, Catchy Clenty looks like he's going to qualify automatic, and Manio is in good position. So there's a long way to go. There's a long way to go. Yeah, and all, all the tournaments with the big points are coming up. And the average age of the team could be about 24. Yeah. Yeah, because I think the young guy. Uh, Wick Wicker, I don't think he's out of it either. He's, he's somewhere in the mix. Victor. Victor. Victor, so I do apologise. Yeah. Yeah, I think he was in the top five before this time on the world, on the combine list. Yeah, he's definitely up there. Really, I played him in this tournament. He's really talented. Really nice lad as well. Yeah, most of them polls are pretty good kids. So, Jason, lucky to win that rack and then get his uh, get himself on the scoreboard yeah needed that nice yeah. easy rack 4-1 obviously uh, it's a race to 13 so uh, long way to the, go but that was his own break though so uh, he sort of uh, got gifted that one well so. one one thing that I always say as I don't know how you approach it but if I ever make a mistake when my opponents just made one against me let's say and he's given me a chance and I then make a mistake back I just think to myself well I didn't really make that mistake because I shouldn't have had a shot at the table. Mm -hmm. So I kind of think, well, that wasn't me, you know, it's just, so you just one uh, of them things. So get it really quick. Yeah, because the longer the mistake's out, yeah. in your mind, the more it's going to affect yeah. your own game. Yeah. Yeah. And there's nothing you can do or change about it, so you've just got to forget it. Yeah, of Obviously, it's hard, and sometimes you want to bang your cue and say a few things. Unfortunately, the last time I said a few things, I nearly got locked up. If you yeah, remember yeah. that one, Darren. Oh, yes. Yeah. Jason only got locked up over there somewhere. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Be careful. No country. Was in the Middle East and uh, I, I swore. I know so that. Didn't uh, realise that I was. Too hard didn't again, realise I was in uh, one of them countries. Yeah, I remember uh, Imran's mate got escorted from the country. Uh, what's his name? So so sure. All oh, right. Was that in Dubai? Or Dubai. Something? Yeah. Had to be escorted to the airport. Uh, never allowed back in the country. No. Uh, You've got to be careful, aren't you, over there? Yeah, it's a very strict country. What is it? What has he made here? A, s a stripe, I think. Yeah, it looks like he's made uh, one stripe, and and uh, he's got a relatively tough table. Yes, to be fair. If he made a solid, he, he was out. You have to say that solids are low and perfect, and that, that's the the format uh, Darren's chosen for this World Pool Series event. Is that you've got to make what? got uh, take what you make on the break yeah it makes a big difference massive difference now if it was solid you've got to say the rack was over so now he has to play stripes he's got a lot of work to do yeah it's about five or six racks yesterday where i was completely dead after the break yeah i had a couple today <laughs> so frustrating as well you, you just want to get your head in front and you just the, sometimes the game don't allow you can he bank that is it the uh, nine ball that he's looking at can he cut the ball in the side I think he's trying pocket? to cut the ball in thin and maybe develop the other two next to the two. Well, I don't think he's got the angle to do that. Oh, where's the cue ball? Is that because it looks like there's two cue balls? Where it's standing. There. Oh, there I it is. I think he can if he can it, he can if he overcuts it. I if think he, he's if got he plays possibility. It thin into the pocket, he may yeah. be able to hit the eleven, but I don't think he could hit any other one. 
I think he could have got there, maybe. We'll see. Possibility of the bank in the centre pocket. Push the ten ball in front of the two. Well, he's putting all his eggs in the basket here, isn't he? Yeah, he's going to have to play position. I tell, you, I tell you a shot what he's got here, Daz. Put the 15, put the ball up the cushion, run mm -hmm. through, put the other ball in the middle next to the three, but the uh -huh. three ball is uh -huh. run down. Run yeah, down. Well, I mean, that's what he's going to do. I'm saying he's put his, all his, his eggs in one basket. Because he's got to get perfect on this nine ball. Yeah, absolutely. Inch perfect. It would, it would have been better if he could have played for the nine ball in the corner, but I don't think it passes a seven. Uh, so he has to play this absolutely yeah. sweet as a nut. Well, I don't think he had many options, to be fair. He was uh, slightly mm. unfortunate to not have an easier run out. Couldn't he? Oh, yeah. You're right. Yeah, was it? Needs to land inch perfect on this one. Yeah, that was a situation where... Oh, wow. I know, he's overrun it. It's no good anyway. I mean, that ball should never have gone in, but it's not great. Anyway, he's overrun the ball. But yeah, this was a situation where he he got the wrong set of balls. Where if you look at solids, they're all laying beautiful. Going for to play me, for a bank here. he kind of didn't walk around and have a look where he exactly needed to be because that was such a precise positional shot he needed there. He, just he should have just walked around and have a look exactly where he needed to be. Well, the problem there, Imran, is that he butchered the ball down the rail. Yeah. Can he possibly draw this ball into the side pocket with a lot of screw and left, left and avoiding think, the five well, goal? Come round three rows, if like Chris Mellon's playing it, or Joshua Filler, or Jason Shaw, then yeah, for the rest of us, no. The angle is there for that shot, though. It, it's a chance of uh, sliding off the eight ball and going towards the two stripes as well. Yeah, the three commentators is uh, Darren Appleton, Chris Mellon and Imran Majid. If you make one of each off the break, you, it's an open table. But it's take what you make. So uh, the majority of the balls, uh, the, the suit of balls you make, that's what you're on. So if you make two stripes and one solid, you're on stripes. He may not be left with too many options. He may just have to play two banks. Yeah. He's played this well. No. Well, he's, he's not bad. Well, I'd bank. take it. I'd take that. He's I'll got tell a you what, bank Chris, in the side. He might have landed perfect here. And, and that's the other ball as well? I wouldn't he, he might it. I've just you. done it through. Maybe just bank it and stun the cue ball to the side rail. He might have landed perfect here, where you can just like stun it through. I mean, what a roll is up there if he can do that. Oh he's right, looking at he's it as looking well. at it. Can he bank the ten and cannon the two into the corner and be perfect? Yeah. He's got a couple of options and he's he's had a nice little roll there. Well, I would say that um, if he couldn't stun it through without hitting the ten ball, he would he, he would he would go for the bank on the ten ball instead of the eleven. I think he's landed absolutely perfect. And I'll tell you one thing about Torsten, he's good at banking the ball. But like we said earlier, these tables are playing a little bit short. So you've got to uh, adjust. Let's see what he does. It's up and down a little bit. I know it's very important, but... The more he looks at it, the more it's going to get tougher. What a great shot. What a brilliant, brilliant shot. Mm, that, that was my first instinct. He landed perfect to nudge the... I'm not convinced he's tried to knock it there where it's landed, but he's tried to knock it out so that it goes past the two. I think he did. He played it with enough speed to knock it past the two to leave this cut. That was a great shot there. Well, I mean, Jason's going to be absolutely raging. Yeah, he won't be too happy about that. <laughs> you got, you, I mean, it was a great shot, but he was very lucky to be in that situation. But he took advantage, and he made a great bank shot, and he's now got a 5-1 well to one lead. Thorsten. So all of a sudden, he forgets about his uh, loss of the last rack, because he's broken run out here and take a 5-1 lead. Yeah, it's an amazing game because should he have missed that bank and not landed on the ball, yeah, he would have been in pieces. Or, yeah. That that would have annoyed him there. Yeah, of course. And, and obviously, then you're looking at four-two, only yeah. a two-frame gap, and now you're looking at a five-frame gap. Yeah. yeah. Four frames. And that would have been two, 
two pretty bad mistakes back to back, two two yeah. two racks in a row. So obviously that would have got Jason Wright back in the game. So Put Tarson on the back foot a little bit. Where now Tarson's going to be happy as Larry. I've got to say that could have been a, a turning point in the match. Tarson will say like Tarson would have forgot about his mistake now. From the yeah, previous game. exactly. But still a long way to go. And uh, we've known Jason come back from some miracle, some miracle uh, deficits, especially at the US Open. Yeah, the three commentators are Imran Majid, Darren Appleton, and myself, Chris Mellin. Alternate breaks, race to 13, eight ball, take what you make. All the brackets. Oh, where's the cue? And the the draw. cue ball's Ooh. close. No, he just missed it. He's oh. just okay, and he, he needs to be on stripes here. Is he? I think he may have made one of each again. He has. He has made one of each. Or has, he, has, has he made one? Solid. Well, the solids are easy for me. Yeah, he's got a problem with the three ball. We can maybe play the seven into the corner pocket and just nudge, nudge the three softly. Now. Yeah. Doesn't want to hit it too hard, but must. Well, he's not playing it. Okay, that wasn't bad because he's opened up with three now. Not bad, but look where the two ball is. He's going to have to go back down the table now for the two ball. He could have been done with being on the two there for me. Well, at least he can leave an angle here. Come inside. Yeah, it's not easy. This not an easy run out, but yeah, I like nudging the three there, didn't you? Yeah, I think I would have done, but we all see it differently, and there's no right or wrong really. Jason's going to play this like a rotation finish, basically. He's about to use the rails. Uh, depends uh, the position on the one balls is going to be the key, isn't it? Yeah, if if, if he's got to take the three now, you have to spin it around three rails. And the eight balls no gimme to get on. If anybody can get out from here, it's this guy. Yeah, if you just uh, make sure the pot here. Yeah, might play good now. Yeah, good shot. Oh, that's a really nice shot, that is. Yeah, that was a better option. Yeah, nice out from Jason. Manufactured that well. Yeah, probably who don't really, uh, I think Jason's got to pretty much play perfect from here, I think. And this could be the start. Yeah, this is a really good run out, this. Still needs to play a decent shot here, don't quit on this one. And play it perfect. Good control there. Well, there's one thing that Jason won't do, and that's give up. He'll battle till the very end, and that's why he's a champion. Oh, yeah, his temperament's massively improved, hasn't it? The last two, two years, especially. Back in the day, I used to think it was just a front runner, and now he's like seems to have got all the tools now. Do you think Jason's gone off the ball a little bit in the recent months? I wouldn't really say gone off the ball. He's well, been playing. Been playing, yeah. Yeah, I think he's like took a little bit of a break. Obviously, his uh, wife's due, their second child, so that's a big thing. And he's changed cues as well, hasn't he? Yeah, changed cues. So I think he's still getting used to it a little bit, but he's, he does he, he does work hard. If, if he's not playing tournaments, he he is one of the the hardest working players in the game, and he, and he works out as well. Well, it's all in Torsten's hands because he's three racks in front. And if he keeps breaking and running, there's nothing about what Jason can do about it, really. But <coughs> there's going to be more mistakes in this game and more drama. It's amazing how big Torsten got over the years, isn't it? He, he, when I first met him, he wasn't that muscly. Now he's like uh, Arnie. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see if the power he uses here. If it's too hard, the balls won't go in the side. They go past the side, see? Well, hit them good. Yeah, but it's too hard. The balls drift past the side pocket. At medium speed, they go right in. Yeah, and he didn't hit them bang in the middle, did he? No, he didn't hit them square. Jason's got another really nice chance here. The stripes look the best options. Option, should I say? <coughs> yeah, both these guys are... Proper athletes, you gotta say. Work hard on, on and off the table. Well, that's not J 
Jason's best shot. He's left himself straight, I think. I think you can shoot the nine down the corner and be you on the other. You can, two. but he'd like a little angle just to screw past the nine for the two stripes into the left-hand corner. Okay. He's but he's done. left himself plenty of options. He's got four different shots he can play here. Well, what, what do you think to these Ultimate Team gear shirts? I, I thought you two would be wearing uh, Ultimate Team gear. Who, me and Chris? Yeah. Um, yeah, I've got a couple at home. Yeah, and they they are very nice, very. Uh, yeah, they're the nice shirts. Good material they use, and very like flashy the designs and everything. Yeah, I might start wearing mine actually. Yeah, still some talk that Shane put the challenge out to any European player on the list. Uh, Jason Shaw was on that list, and I believe that. Jason was willing to play, uh, but Shane's not willing to play Jason. Uh, no, Jason told me that he put a shout out to offer Shane out for a money match. Stipulated some conditions. Obviously, it's not ten balls. Oh, goals, Jason just said we'll, we'll play the same rules as the U.S. Open, yeah. no ball on the spot. Yeah, yeah. And uh, Shane said with, no. With a conventional rack, and uh, no, Shane didn't refuse. Shane said, uh, yeah, we'll we'll play that game. Oh, well, but nothing's been confirmed. It's you different know? to what he told me. Jason, Jay, Jason told me a different story. Really? I will soon find out. And also, they're going to remember that. Uh, let's say uh, uh, there's plenty of guys who will play if Shane comes to Europe. It's not that easy for Europeans to get uh, uh, backers, let's State, say, in, yeah. in America. And obviously, it's a bigger, big advantage playing at home. So, I mean, there is a few guys I think will play. Uh, I mean, Filler. If, if the game's right, you know, I mean, uh, obviously he'd, he'd have to play nine ball, so would Catchy, I guess. I mean, Catchy's getting up there, Jason. Good run out there by Jason. Brings the deficit to two frames. Yeah, it's big now, isn't it? It's back in the game again. Maybe Neil's playing with two. Well, I'm not a massive fan of, uh, personally, players going on social media and calling players out. I mean, obviously, we, we, we've all done it at some time when you're a bit frustrated. You do that in private message. Yeah, I mean, uh, I think it should be done. If you want to play somebody, then just send them a message, I think. I mean, I, I think there's a lot of money in Europe if uh, the game's right. And saying that, there's many players what's going to play in 10 ball, is it? Because it's tough to fade his break. Yeah, there's, there's a quite a big match going on here, right in the pool room. The two guys uh, playing for 4,000, I believe. Eight ball race yeah, to 20, and it's 10 10. There's some money games in the pool room right now. Right there. Yeah, you know, I was saying the other day, Darren, there was a guy at the Derby City Classic who was playing on a bar table at 9 ball for $10,000 a rack. Yeah, I believe it. Who was that? Uh, I'd rather not mention his name just in case he doesn't want people to know. Okay. But, but I can, was I he a good player? It. Uh, or just got loads of money? No, he's just a wealthy guy. Oh, yeah. yeah. No, he's, he's, he's done that a few times at the Derby. Poker player. Oh, good break. No. Yeah. No, no, nothing wrong with that one. Yeah, really good break. Balls are down, everything's down. Ball inside. One, two, three, four. He's made two s solids, and has he made two stripes? One stripe. Does the pink four ball go? That's the question. It so looks like it does. He's up off the queue quickly. I think it does. <laughs> yeah, just to remind you guys, because he's made two solids and one stripe, he has to play solids now. It's always the set of balls you make the most of. <clears throat> I, I think it goes, and uh, that would be his last ball, wouldn't you think? And play the eight ball in the side. Well, I'll tell you one thing, this game's just turned on its head. Mm. Because Torsten was kind of running away, but a bad, uh, bad break. Yeah, just a, a testament against Jason's temperament these last few years, because I, I remember a good four or five years ago, when he was sort of like, you got in front of him, he uh, sort of got really frustrated. Yeah. But now he's just staying nice and calm, playing his game, and staying patient. That's what you are very good at, Chris. You forget your mistakes very quickly. That's one of your biggest strengths, I think. 
Yeah, I've always been good at forgetting the mistakes quick. Well, I mean, obviously, you play matches, you made some mistakes. You've come off the table, so oh, I played well. So, well, what about that boy you missed? When? Where? So, <laughs> I'm saying, like, you, you're <laughs> you have a sharp memory, which is good. I've also got a good memory. I'm still waiting for them shoes from you, Mr. Appleton. Well, you've been waiting a long time now. That was a good time, that was. Had some good times and some bad times. <laughs> yeah, well, I was saying to the guys on the commentary that the Brits always have a, a good uh, banter between them and it's all in good faith, you know, there's no harm meant. Some people take it the wrong way, but we all know each other and we all play jokes on each other. And yeah, nothing wrong with a bit of a friendly banter. Yeah, I mean, uh, to people that don't know us, I think it's a bit over the top, but but Noah's probably understand. It seems like quite a few of the Europeans are getting a good uh, crack going on as well. Like they, they like the banter with each other, especially the Greeks and uh, catchy, plenty people like Joshua Filler. How would you like playing this, Daz? For, for me, I'd play the one ball and come back across wide for the two. Mm. So basically, where the cue ball is now, a little bit further to the right to leave a nice angle on the two to come down. That's why I'd be playing. Okay, just uh, moving on to a question from the chat. Uh, hi, Chris. Um, how often do you go to the gym in a week as a pool player? Three days or five days? Five days, me, mate. I've got to use that, that machine. I, th I think it's called the vending machine. <laughs> <laughs> For Snickers bar. Um, Chris, uh, yeah, probably three times a year, if that. I used to actually go five days a week a while ago, and then I quit because I, um, I had a personal a trainer. No, I had a personal trainer, believe it or not, and um, actually lost £28 in two months. Well, that personal trainer said to me, he says his best advice Chris was to, to do what he was doing best. You lost £28? I lost what, in, twen in the bookies? No, no, I did, honestly, in two months. And then uh, I ended up with, um, I got a trapped nerve in my neck. Oh, OK. I, 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 li I literally couldn't move my arm for three months. Yeah, that caused a shock to the system, working out. No good for you. Yeah, the gym's not for Chris. You stick to your food, I'll stick to the Lamberts. <laughs> <laughs> Ball cookies in the chat, what a character. He's, he's very special. I think they're all special from Manchester. <laughs> yeah, he's a good guy, he's cookie. Always supports the Euros. I believe we've probably got our biggest audience so far. Uh, 1.3. Keep it coming. How Keep liking and sharing. We've just been asked how Ronnie would handle these two players. Well, I'll tell you, he wouldn't. No, he's. Uh, he, he tried in the IPT, didn't he? You oh. can't compare a snooker player to a poor player. Totally different discipline. And, uh, Great player, obviously, <coughs> snooker. The, the greatest, in my opinion. Um, but different game, different sport, different tactics. And uh, even Ronnie himself has said that it's a tough game. Yeah, even Higgins and all of us says, oh, it's a lot tougher than what we expected and uh, thought. And he says, like, when you play against you guys, you realise how difficult it is. So it's a good, good, uh, they're good guys, really, the snooker players. I'll tell you what, if he's on that, here. he's short, I think. So he obviously couldn't make it. Well, for me there, if, he's, if he's playing that shot, he's got to try and go ne next to the 15 ball. So you never under hit the shot. You always over it the shot. Yeah. But he's good with the jump cue, don't worry about that. Yeah, with he the full length playing cue, I think him and Corey are the best two. Well, I, I'll tell you what I think is the best. Oscar Dominguez. Really? I think he's good he's as Corey and Jason. He's good at it, but I don't think no, he's good as Jason and Corey. Corey's unbelievable. He's the best I've seen with a full length cue. I'm not sure if he needs to, does he? It looks like he can pop this. He might, he might need to jump over half of the eight ball, but I'll tell you what, he's brilliant with a full length jump cue. Let's see. No, he'll pop this. No, just got too much into great it. Great effort. I think he was scared of it in the other ball first as well. There's probably 90% of the players in the tournament wouldn't even get the jump over that eight ball there yeah, with, with the playing cue. The tip and everything comes into play, doesn't it? The shaft of the tip. Yeah, you need to have a hard tip. So obviously, it couldn't go if he left the, the cue ball short there, so he tried to get pinpoint position. Was very difficult. 
And you've got to say Thorsten's favourite to take this rack. Massive favourite. Yeah, it was a big, big, uh, was a big game as well. Yeah, 5-4 or 6-3, massive. Pretty routine here. Yeah, he's not got much to do here. You like to think he's going to put the ball in the side, go up for the ball on the top rail. The 9, the 15, the 11. And then the 8. This is uh, ABC for Torsten. <coughs> yeah, someone asked on the chat, even potted balls give you a choice. It's whatever uh, set of balls you make the most of. So two stripes and one solid, you would be on stripes. Five solids and four stripes, you would be on solids. Well, I'll tell you what, that's a real poor shot from Torsten there. He's under it, that ball there, by about a foot. Yeah, but he's OK. So he's saying, uh, as long as he doesn't get skid, he's fine. But this is what happens in round once You overrun one ball, you end up overrunning the next one, then the next one. Yeah, but he's, he's landed perfect, eh? Yeah, he's OK, he's OK now. Austin needed this one because uh, Jason looked like he was going to make it 5-4. And now there's another three racks in the game. You may see a toilet break after this one. So Thorson got a bit of a spring step now. OS. Six to three, Tarson Armand in a race to 13 in the World Pool Series Cla Eight Ball Classic Championship. This is our third event of the season, and the grand final will be in January, uh, most possibly in New York, just right before the Derby City Nine Ball. I think it should be in Europe again. Well, it's not completely out of the question yet, but it's favourite. <coughs> At the moment, to be a lot of great up. venues in Europe as well. Lovely venue in the UK, actually. Telford Park Inn, where they play the GB9. Yeah, it's a great venue. The uh, the best part about Telford is uh, the M54 out of it. But the hotel and setup is. The hotel's really nice, I'll give it that, but there's absolutely nothing around it. Well, you're there to play a tournament. Why, why do you want to go out? I'm not saying you want to go out, but you might want to go get something nice to eat, or some you might go, want to go to a there. cinema. Um, there's, there's this place as well. There's a couple of good venues in Greece. There's, uh, well, there has been an interest from Poland, Brussels. Poland. Babika's got a nice pool room. It's not pool, it's like a big venue. Not a pool room. He has a pool room, but he has a big venue where he has the time and so... Uh, uh, Belgium showed a bit of interest, and uh, Greece, obviously, and Romania. Yeah, I'd like to see a few tournaments on the coast of the uh, European cities and countries like Greece, Spain. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think like it's that. important to get good locations also. Yeah, because at the end of the day, the players can probably bring the families and they can have a little bit of a holiday at the same time. Yeah, I mean, we have, it seems we're having too many tournaments now where it's sort of middle of nowhere. Yeah. <coughs> And that does put players off and they just don't turn up and you don't get um, big turnouts. Well, Toasty's uh, got another opportunity here. Nothing easy, though. OK, so is he on solids? Yeah, mate, uh, maybe two. OK, so he's got, he's got a problem with this seven ball. That seems to be his problem ball. Do, do, do you draw into it now? What do you reckon, Chris? He's yeah. quite got quite a bit of an angle on the one ball. Yeah, he's been quite unfortunate there. If you look at solids, I mean, they're brutal compared to uh, stripes. Yeah, the four ball's dodgy, the seven ball's no easy shot. Might have to draw into it here. If he can. Might draw into the seven ball here, right there. Good shot. Yeah, he's played it nice. Yeah, that's a really nice shot, that is. And I tell you what, he's been unlucky again because he's landed dead straight on the seven. Yeah, any kind of angle, he could draw back for the four in the side. For me, he's got to play the two ball here and go two rails across to leave a nice angle on the seven to then come inside the six ball for the six in the side pocket if it doesn't pass the stripe in the corner. 
What, what, what's your thoughts on this, Darren? I mean, uh, well, I'm just wondering if he can draw the seven ball in and draw it all the way back up to the top rail and back down. Then he'll leave options on, you know what I mean? Yeah, he could have. But he's got to be sweet, hasn't he? I think you've got to play the two here, does it's Oh, now. For me, it's too hard. It's, it's well, yeah. Ball, you, you, you I, was thinking the table, didn't you? I was thinking he was jacked over the 14 ball. That's why I didn't like the two. But I think you can draw up and down here. With a little, a little bit of spin. Yeah, it's a good shot. Spin? No spin on Ooh, it. Oh, wrong side. <coughs> Still a good shot, though. No, no spin on it. He, he hit that ball there. Uh. Well, now he's in big trouble. So that's why I didn't like that shot. Well, he's got to slow roll his two ball in now, hasn't he? Well, he should have played that with left hand spin, the draw. Yeah, but when he's ha when he imparts side spin, to. you're making it too hard. I think he tried to yeah, play re reverse, but I think he's come across it. Yeah, if that had been me, I think I'd have definitely taken the two, gone two rails across, then played the seven ball, come inside the six, six, four, eight. Now he needs to go twice across with the two ball for me. So someone's asking, what if you make two solids and two stripes on the break? Then you have a choice, obviously. Yeah. It must pass this stripe ball. I didn't think it did, but it must do. Now he's got a chance. Or is he looking at the bank? Oh, he he can play the pink off the 11 ball also. Yeah, he just looked at it. He got a little, maybe touch too much angle on the six. I think he can go three rails and get position on the far and the side pocket. Yes, that's <coughs> correct. Another question on the chat. You can only jump with your playing cue in the Whirlpool series rules. I think he can go a touch of right hand English, come off the side rail, come off the side rail, uh, the, the, the other side rail just missing the 14, I believe. Uh, the, the stripe on the right hand side and then come off the top rail play on the side play for the far on the side well this is or tough top. this is real tough he's taking his time I don't, I don't think it's that tough um well, is there's a bit of pressure yeah. on it don't get me wrong but uh maybe he I feels he can't miss the ball on the side rail I think that's why we're sort of jacking up I a little bit there. Can, can yeah. he come inside the eight ball and the ball on the side rail? Ooh, no, that's He's still going to play for the four off the 11, maybe, uh, coming round the table. Yep. Well, no, he's played no, that he's shot. played your shot, oh, wow. yeah, he's played, played that, that very well. I think he was land landing perfect for that. That's a brilliant shot. That's that's a great shot. shot. That was a lot harder than it looked. Yeah, that was a great shot. It's two, two great shots he played in this match, but I think that one was better than the bank shot. Alan Brown's asking if we're going to the next GB9. Well, I believe it's the UK Open, and it's the most Coin Cup points event, and obviously I think it's about 2,500 to the winner, so yeah, I think there's a good chance we'll be there for that one. I don't think Chris is there, though. No, well, I'm... Uh, China uh, Open's on at the same I'm time. I'm going to the China Open qualifiers. I've got to play the qualifiers. Yeah, yeah I'm not 100% be there, but uh, if I can be there, I will be there. Well, that's a great finish there from Torsten. You've got to give him every credit for that one. Yeah, and that's going to... Uh, Jason knows he's in a game now because uh, Tarson's playing well. Not many players would have run out from there. Well, I liked how he played the shot. He sort of like created an angle by uh, jacking his cue up there. Because obviously, if he just made it playing ball, I think he was kissing the ball on the side rail. So that was really clever, uh, good uh, creativity. Someone's asking, do wrestlers play harder than diamond tables? Depends on the size of the pockets. Yeah. Depends on the size of the pockets, yeah. I don't think there's much in it with the rails. Uh, yeah, obviously pocket size comes into the... The, the thing I like about the Rassons is I think you get a more consistent bounce off the rails. I agree. The, o the only thing I would change with the Rasson, and I'm not just saying this because I had a bounce out, is I would make the pockets leather, and that can That's happen. I, said, yeah. I know it costs a bit more, mm. obviously, because you're using leather rather than plastic, but for me... It stops, especially when you're playing the tournaments, even if it was just the tournament tables. Yeah, someone's asked me, uh, Appleton, <laughs> why haven't the WPS matches haven't been uploaded to YouTube? I said, the reason why they haven't been uploaded yet because the files haven't been sent to us, or the files that were sent to us wasn't great quality, so uh, unfortunately, that's the reason why. But I'm pretty sure they will get uploaded eventually. Jason's made one on the break. He's made a solid. He's got a problem with the six ball. Uh, yeah, and possibly the uh, the one and the four ball as well. I think the six ball goes in the side pocket. Yeah, and the four ball may pass the uh, 14. Another 
a good break, wasn't it? Yeah, he's got he's got a good chance here, as Jay said. We give a big shout out to our referee Desi. She's from Bulgaria, a professional snooker referee, but she also plays pool a lot, and uh, she does a great job. I don't think it belongs long before we see her in the World Snooker Championship she arena. She does do a great job. I tell you what, I was out there watching a the match earlier in the arena, and uh, I was stirring my coffee with a spoon, and she said, can you be quiet, please? Yeah, that's good. And I, <laughs> I thought that was really <coughs> good. Yeah, she's spot on. And the other guy also, uh, Alex uh, Chryson. Yeah, bo both referees have actually refereed my snooker matches when I was on the yeah. tour. Yeah. I, rem I remember one referee on the snooker tour was playing in Gibraltar, and I've, I've never seen anybody make so many mistakes. He, uh, he didn't. He called a free ball when it wasn't a free ball. He picked the green out and put it on the yellow spot. Yeah. He just, it was just madness. I'm guessing he's learnt his lesson. Yeah, I think he's in the job centre at the moment. Yeah, it's not an easy job. I'll tell you that now. I mean, uh, got to be focused. The referees are got to be just as more focused than the players. Yeah, and it's, it's tiring as I mean, well. It's a long well, day. Jason's looking to break the six out here. If he hits the nine, it'll open the eight for the corner. So for me, he's got to hit the eight or the nine ball here. Probably the nine. Yeah, I think Jason has uh, been having oh. some problems sleeping, Chris. No, he's, uh, yeah. he's, he's put in a shift today. Yeah, well, I think he, he might just I think he, this in the side I think he put the shift in while you were playing your match. Yeah, he said he was going to have a lie in, didn't yeah, he? he? says it's only time he can get to sleep. When you're not there. Oh, he's got to be careful here. It's not an easy shot. Oh, this is a real tough shot. Wow. What a shot. Fired it straight in the side pocket. I told you, he's going to drill it in. Yeah, that tight. was a great the, shot. The, the uh, pockets are tight from that angle as well. Yeah. And he's still had the best of luck with where the eight ball's gone. I know it goes in the right corner, but... To be fair, though, Chris, I think uh, I think you and Jason and probably Filler, the probably the best free players I've ever seen uh, into the side pocket. Making balls from silly angles in the side pocket. Well, me personally, it's actually my favourite shot. Even yeah. on the snooker table, I used to love. I used to practice with the uh, the great James Watanar. Oh, he was the best. He, the side he, pocket, him and Henry was the best in the side pockets. Yeah, yeah well, at snooker. Ronnie's not too bad. Well, Ronnie's <laughs> awesome as well, obviously. But <laughs> I used to <coughs> practice with him and. Well, Mick Hill's great also on an English eight ball table. But it's a bit easy on them tables because they're more rounded. Yeah. The, the middle pockets are too big. They they stick out more. You know what I mean. But James Watson, uh, yeah, good shout. He was the best. He was the best player I've ever seen in practice. He yeah, was unbelievable. unbelievable. Big shot here. This is no gimme. Yeah, you, you put your house on him making this. 7-3. Good shot. Yeah. Great out. Brilliant finish there from Jason. Made that look really easy. And that was vital. Rack here staying sort of the match. 8-3 would have been. Even though he's losing 7-4, to four, he's actually playing pretty good. We've got your pal on, on the uh, chat. Seb Webb. The most electrifying pool player in the world. Seb Webb. Yeah. He's, a, he's a class player. Big money player in England. Yeah, he's got a big one coming up soon. He's a character. I know that. English pool. Hey, if you want a, a bit of fun and the English sense of humour, follow Seb Webb. The most electrifying man in all of eight ball. There's some real characters in that English eight ball game. That George Turney, the real number one, and uh, Gallo Gallo, Rusty Wheeler. That Gallo Gallo's uh, ruffling a few feathers. Our fans in the house. Is here? Look, our fan, our fan dad, ladies and gentlemen. Great Potter is our fan, one of the Pakistani just, greats. He just needs to learn how to stun the ball. Uh, to the Americans, he needs to learn how to play stop shots. Big break here, then it's on four. Toss Norman, ooh, a bit softer that time. Made, made, a, made a solid in the side. Uh, five balls, uh, five mm. balls really dodgy. Made a solid in the top left. It's the top left, yeah, the look at the five ball. Can, can he play the six off the off five in the side? There was a case for that, yeah. It looks yeah, it was a bit fortunate there, Chris. He sort of didn't lost his timing or something, so he didn't hit them very good. The ball's down, that's all that counts. Yeah, I believe Seb's got a big money match on Saturday for 30,000. Yeah, it's unbelievable, these money games. Yeah, uh, big games in English pool. Yeah, where was it? Where English was it when we used to play, Daz? Huh? Where was it when we used to be playing yeah, English 8 ball? Yeah. We'd have been millionaires by now. Unbelievable. Yeah, there's a 
massive games, 50,000, 70,000 pound matches every month. Nearly every week. Yeah. Trying to decide what to do here. Mm, it's not easy. Yeah, he wants to. I think he was thinking of running it through here, play for the four on the side, which would be good if he can do that. He might, he might be scared to try and overrun it, plan perfect. He might end up well, if he can do that, he can yeah, play the four thing. off the five in the side pocket. I don't think he's got that angle though. I'm not sure if the five is a bit too far down I the road. I think he's running through for the four in the opposite side, on the right hand side. Yep. Well, well, quite perfect, and he did. So that's what he was scared of. Yeah, so now four, seven, six off the five. And should open it all up. Well, he's playing well in this match. This is the best I've seen Torsten play for quite some time. I know he's been working quite hard in his game, I think, in the off-season, let's say. I know he finished third recently at the US Open 8-ball, if you can call it a US Open 8-ball. But yeah, that was a good result, finishing third there. Question on the chat, what's the size of a Rasson? Well, it's a, a, a normal 9 by 4 big table, as they would call it in America. And a question for me, any tournaments in London, Imran? Um, there is actually a few tournaments. There's a... The Imran Majid Open. There's a tournament, uh, there's a, there's a actually, um, well, this is it's a tour called the Total Nine Ball Tour. Uh, it's for amateurs, really. And there's another tour called the SMB Tour, which is, uh, hails from Riley's Victoria. That's also an amateur tour. Do you uh, play in them, Jim? Um, no, they don't let me, unfortunately. No. Yeah. Um, you used to not be able to squ squeeze in tournaments like that. You used to be, be the master at sneaking in stuff. Um, I, I can play in open events, which uh, they sometimes hold. Uh, and you, you also can get in, in touch with Imran. He'll, he'll kindly uh, play some cheap sets against you. What a role that is. In uh, Victoria. Do you, you still play at Victoria? Was a no, massive, no, no. I'm a massive role there. As King's did, Cross. Did he play for that? No, no, he, he played to, to hit the, f uh, the ball off the five and oh, just okay. hope for the best, but it landed out a tree. Oh, yeah. Absolutely perfect. One of your rolls there, does. Yep, back in the day. Well, Torsten looks on fire to me. He, he's playing brilliant. Yeah, well, that's what happens though. When you're playing well, things like that come out great. And he's playing very positive as well, very focused. I've got a good question for you, Imran. You had an unbelievable role yesterday. I Didn't can find them, don't worry about that. Which one? No, when, when, when you played a ball, it developed another ball. Oh, that was and today. And then it went down the table and developed another cluster. I did actually shot. play to develop the first one. Yeah, but to develop the next cluster was... Oh, that was lucky, yeah. Yeah. Oh, you find them, don't worry. I've got a good question for you, Yeah, man. go, go on. What's the great Steve Knight up to these days? Uh, Steve Knight, I actually talked to him a little little while ago. Um, he's busy working. Uh, he's uh, working on software for arcade machines. Did he get married as well? Uh, yeah, he got married to his Filipino girlfriend. And um, he wants to come to the Moscone Cup with uh, me in uh, Alexandra Palace in London later on in the year. So I'm uh, going to get him tickets for we that. We did show up to a Moscone about three or four years ago. Yeah, while yeah, the World Cup yeah. one. Yeah, he was a great player with Steve, the Knight Rider. Yeah, yeah. I definitely. remember watching him at the Moscone coming in on a, on a no, motorbike. Or was it the World Nine? World yeah. Nine, Nine Which one the, the He year, came in on the Harley the Davidson, got, yeah. The year he got to the quarters. With, uh, with his shades on and his leather yeah. jacket. Yeah, that was awesome. We've got another great player on the chat. Jeffrey Igna Igna Ignacio. Ooh. Jeffrey Ignacio, one of the great young talented Filipinos. I haven't seen him for a while. I hope you're doing well, Jeffrey. A lot of Jeffreys in the Philippines. Jeff De Luna. Mm. So he's he's moved the spot of the cue ball here. Interesting. Oh, he's lost the cue ball there. Good, Good break. break. Yeah. Yeah. Lose oh, and he got the ball inside. He's made too two many. Two stripes. Stripes. Oh, he's made solids. He's not going to be happy. Solid, oh, is it? Solids are fine. Solids okay. are beautiful. 
Is that three solids? No. Uh, yeah. yeah. Three solids and a strike. Four balls down. Three solids and a strike, exactly. So now he has to go for solids. Well, but this game's all about getting position to the three. Well, Which is going to uh, be his key ball for the A ball. It's nothing too difficult here. Soft draw off the five. Well, it's, it's a little bit fortunate there. Yeah, that could have gone a little bit ugly. Didn't much choice, though, to be fair, did he? No. Nah. He played it well. Yeah, he's played it pretty good. You can't, you can't really be too hard on him there. Yeah, a lovely break by Jason. Cool. It'd be even better if he can just screw this back onto the 14 and then uh, got the perfect angle on the seven. Yeah. yeah, I think he's got a little angle, not too much. There you go. That's a good shot there. He needs to be careful here. He doesn't want to overdraw this. It's much, much better if he underdraws the shot rather than overdraws it. Or oh, you can, yeah. But obviously doesn't want to snooker himself behind the uh, 12 ball or 13. Oh. Do we get stuck behind that? Ooh, that's Tell you, best shot. Happened before when it hits it like funny and the ball just twists in front of it. Yeah, he was frightened to get in too much into that. He's he does, fine. He does he get into the cue ball He can well. stand in and out of the short rail here and play the eight inside. He's got a punch or something. But got to um, be careful. I had a ball jump out of this pocket. Yep. Made it a lot harder than it should be. Got to bear down. He's good at these shots, usually. failed to impress us there. That was a, a lot better shot than what it looked. Yeah, but he made uh, life hard for himself there, didn't he, Darren? Yeah, but uh, um, obviously he's under a bit of pressure. He's chasing yeah, the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I don't, I, don't, I don't think you would have made that positional error or the likes of oh, Mick right. Hill. I might not have got to the free ball. That's a problem at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, he's, he isn't as clinical as some players with a cue ball, but he's such a great shot maker. He's like Chris, and he? He's just unbelievable shot makers so that yeah. to them I mean that shot to him looks easy uh, plus they're used to them type of shots you know what I mean they're playing on a regular basis and that's what makes them great to watch isn't it? I hate five so he needs something good to happen he can't quite get back to uh, he's got to rely on toasty either getting dry breaks or making mistakes or getting yeah. kicked in or something like that I know oh. my money is on if he gets to 12 12 oh yeah um, oh, yeah, Jason for me is a, a big favourite if it well, goes to a shootout. Obviously, I've got all the stats, so I know about Torsten. <coughs> He's, he hasn't won a shootout yet. Oh, really? He has been involved in three or four shootouts, I believe. Okay, and that's a good uh, stat to know. He struggled a little bit in the shootout, where Jason, I believe, he's only. He told me he hasn't lost any, but I think he lost one, but I could be wrong. But I, I know he's won quite a few. Who's had the most shootouts? Probably you, I guess. Probably you. There's been a few though. Uh, a few of the guys been in them shootouts. Uh, what this tournament or in total? No, all in total. I mean, yeah, uh, yeah. I think I've had five, five or six. I've had three or four. Yeah. I think uh, and one, two, lost two. I think. I think Petri's been in a few. He's done pretty good. Alice Kazak has been in a few. I've uh, I've been in three. Who else is it? Let's have a look at Torsten's break. Normally, really strong down the middle of the table. I think Mika might have been in the most, you know, but... Uh, is he dry? There's another one what's got a poor record in the shootout. No, which. I've had two. I had one against Kachi, actually. Uh, he didn't miss a ball. But it's a bit of a surprise for Mika. He, I don't, he, he might not have even won it. I think he's won one shootout. Uh, he's lost quite a lot of them. Dry break there, and uh, Jason's got a great chance on stripes here. First shot, pop the stripe in the side pocket and draw over for the stripe below the eight ball. And then play the 11 in the side. Well, I, I, I'm not sure if I play the 11 in the side. but Or leave it, that last ball. If he's perfect on it, then yes. Well, I didn't like that. That could have gone wrong. Well, that's come out nice. I, I wouldn't have played that. That could have gone wrong, right? But he's confident in his own uh, ability, so we can't doubt anything that he plays. Yeah, everyone well, plays a little bit different anyway. I mean, I, I try and avoid kisses at all costs yeah, unless I have to yeah. kiss them. That's what I was trying to say yesterday. An eight-ball spe specialist wouldn't have gone that way. They would have uh, well, got avoided kisses and cannons. You've got to say he is an eight-ball specialist, really. I mean, that's what he well, grew up playing. he is, but I, I wouldn't put him up there like I said yesterday. I do agree. I think he's a better nine-ball player than he is eight-ball player. Yeah. I think I he's probably, in my mind, probably the best player in the world at nine-ball. I wouldn't have put his patterns up there with the likes of you and McHill. That was a, wasn't the best, Chris, was it? 
I'm That's sorry, I'm, shot, yeah. that is. No, no disrespect to Jason. He needed the cue ball in the middle of the table there, so he had a choice of four balls. And he can play one up the rail with a nice angle. You don't want to be smashing these in, but he has got a lot of cue power and he can manoeuvre that cue ball into positions that most people can't. Yeah, he played it right into the rail. Nice Good shot. Purposely cheated the pocket there. Which is uh, very brave. But a, 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 it's a, a good thing to have in your locker. Uh, yeah. can create an angle. Somebody's asking if we can uh, fix the scoreboard. Unfortunately, we don't know how to do it. Uh, well, on our screen here, to the left, it's good. Uh, for some reason, the other one, the computer, you don't have to refresh that page. The, there's um, a delay on the... Yeah, if you're not sure of the score, you can always check uh, qscore.com. It's always being precise. You'll have to forgive us for a moment. As, uh, sausage fingers, Appleton. As, uh, well, the big thing is that is screen? It's back to 8 6. <coughs> there we are. Yeah, this match heating up now at 8 6 to Thorsten. It's turning into a, a cracker. Yeah, there's no problems with our scoreboard this end, so maybe you need to refresh your page. Or, uh, there you go, 8-6 now on, uh, on Facebook. 8-6 on our screen. It should be all good. Eight six, game one now. Yeah, could, just, uh, just could go to the wire. Got a lot of viewers for this match. One point four thousand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think the the Facebook stream is about fifteen to twenty seconds behind the live stream. Trust me, mistakes happen, Christoph. Plenty of them. In some ways, it makes the game a little bit tougher because you know you're not supposed to make a mistake, so you adds a bit more pressure on your uh, to make sure you you don't make mistakes. And uh, mistakes break. happen he's on any he's table. He's, f he's found a good um, spot to break from, from the right-hand side. He has, but he's, he's on solid, Zimran, and they're not the best set. Yeah, but he's only got one problem ball. There's the three ball, and he can... Can he play the four and cannon the stripe next to it to bring the other two balls away? Mm, yeah, it's dicing with luck a bit. I like playing the one to develop the three. Well, I think if you hit the three, it double kisses and stays there. Uh, if you play the one, that's the only reason I would play the four. Maybe, yeah, because you have to get perfect on that one. Oh, he's played this ball. That's what? a really bad What's shot, he is that? There? He's jumped totally up on the shot, he pulled, pulled out, out of the shot. Try to leave an angle, I think, so he could have screwed into the three ball, maybe. Yeah, just. Uh, well, that's poor. That's. Uh, lost total feeling of that ball. I won't be surprised if he shoots this one ball now. Well, he's. He he's dead. He's got no. He's got to no shoot the shot. one. He's no other shot for me. Oh, if, yeah, if you can see the one. I didn't realise that was the one. So he shot he's got. Uh, even if he can't, he can spin it in. Or he can pot the one, but I think if he pots it at pace, the cue ball's going to be colliding into the stripe and anything could happen. The cue ball could go anywhere. I think he's just got to make sure of the pot here. Don't worry about cue ball. Yeah, I agree with that. Do you know something? He may even take this onto the side pocket, the seven, knowing Jason, and oh, then try and cut the four ball into the left corner past the nine. Oh, if it goes, I don't yeah. think it goes. That would be... He, he, hasn't, he hasn't got many options, to it, be honest. It goes off the 14. Not a bad shot. Pretty That's not shot. a bad shot, that. Yeah, especially now, because he's blocked two balls. But he's a bit lucky to bro block the stripe there, wasn't he's he? lucky, yeah, but it's a good shot. Yeah, it's a clever shot, that, from Jason. A bit lucky to block the stripe there. I mean, he's still second favourite in the rack, but at least he's giving himself a little chance. Yeah, he's giving himself a chance. <laughs> Thorsten know. hasn't got an easy opener here. 
Well, he's got the nine, which he should make. Is I'm it the sure nine? If you can get the nine. The nine's on the left hand side. Sorry, not the nine. The ball on the right hand side of the table. Oh, we can't here. really see yeah. from where we. Yeah, yeah, thanks, Max. Max Eberly says beautiful stream. Thanks, lads. Appreciate it, Max. Mad Max, what a character he is from America. 1,500 viewers. The viewing figures are flying. Kathy Joe. She's a regular to the World Pool Series. Thank for your continued support, Kathy. Well, he doesn't want to play this too hard because the harder he plays, this the less chance it has well, of dropping. Stroke it in. Don't roll it in. Just stroke it in. Nice speed. He doesn't like the shot because he's slightly hampered he's with the three ball. Tony Sullivan, what a character he is. Stream is spot on, guys. Cheers, Tony. Cheers, pal. Yeah, just, to let, just to let you know, Tony, that me, Daz and uh, Jason Shaw are going to represent Great Britain at the uh, European, European Championships, Championships next year, if that's OK. Yep, and Imran's going to be the manager. Oof. Ooh, wiped its feet. Yeah, didn't hear that so good. This is the quarter-final for brackets and scores of the tournament. You can go to our website, World Pool Series, uh, click on tournaments and go to uh, Eight Ball Classic and you can see the draw, the scores. Or you can go direct to Q-Score, uh, type in World Pool Series, you can find us. I like the way you said that, Darren. You said this is the quarter-final, a little bit of an American twang going on there. Yeah, it's a little bit of a Ted Lerner. Been a while, hasn't it? English is coming back, don't worry. Tony Sullivan says uh, only if we qualify. Qualify for what? For the Europeans. Well, no one else qualifies, is there? So. We'll be there, pal. Don't worry about that. The That's payouts are on the website, Tony. All the details of the tournaments on willpoolseries.com. A big shout out to all our sponsors. You can see them all there in the background. You can check them out on our website. Uh, been a great support for the World Pool Series and thanks to all our staff. I mean, the staff here at uh, Romania has been a big help. Uh, so, uh, thanks to all our staff here in Romania who has really stepped up this week. Well, I'm not too sure about that shot, but I tell you what, he's played that unbelievably well. That is perfect. Yeah, Absolutely great shot, perfect. Great shot. He's played some great shots. I would have been match. playing nine to flick the stripe to the side rail. Mm -hmm. Just so it passes the three, but he's played that brilliantly. Because now he can play the nine and move. Yeah. I've the, uh, probably the one ball for me. Yeah, he's, uh, he's coming with some shots. Well, still a bit of work to do. Yeah, probably has to move the one. So what says Chris? How, nine. how many hours a day do you train every day? Um, I don't practice as often as I should have. If I'm be as much as I should do, should I be? If I'm being honest, um, when I used to play all the time, I was uh, I was playing six to eight hours a day um, but now probably a couple of hours a day i would say <coughs> yeah <coughs> yeah i mean torsten to be like chris says i think this is the best i've, I've seen him play on the world pool series since uh, we started and this we're into our second year now yeah he's got, got a good authority around the table someone says skip jones says our commentary is perfect thanks uh skip cheers so. skip i know that skip jones is a massive chris mellon fan cheers uh, skip I'll a little, probably a little bit too much actually i'll give you that 20 dollars later mate again and uh skip and his wife uh, great supporters of pool and uh perry and skip really good people they come to the moscone every year and uh support their team uh, good genuine people <coughs> Going back to the match, Thorsten has to play a, a very precise positional shot here on his last ball. He's well, played it well. For me, there, he's, he's played a good shot, but I would have tried to cannon the three ball. Okay, yeah, that's what just I just saw. Just so you're guaranteed yeah, not yeah. to be in an awkward position. Yeah. I mean, now he's, he's going down the table, and he's the eight ball only goes in the left hand <laughs> corner, as, as far as I can see. Away from the eight. Is um, he going to have to play the eight in the side, side. pocket? There's a, yep. there's a case for that, yeah. Yeah, then he hasn't got a baby this ball. I think he kind of has to. I think in some ways it's perfect, you know. Obviously, he would have liked to have been straight. But yeah, so prize money's up there. 21, 750 total purse. Ooh, is it this bad? 
Oh, no. Oh, Fought it a bit back there, Chris. I thought he had a bad contact, to be honest. Yeah, he might have got a bad contact also. He's left it a bit thinner than what he wanted. Well, this is what I'm saying. If he cans the three ball, the natural angle is to pop the stripe in the corner where he stood now. And absolute perfect position yeah. guaranteed yeah. on the eight. Yeah. yeah, I like that shot. I think mm. that was a case where he's just fought one shot in front rather than the other one. But he's at the table, he's in control, and these, he's got a chance. These side pockets are a little bit nippy. He's got to be careful here. He's got cued as well. Stay down, no jumping up. Like he's done on a few shots already in this match. The Big long shout out, Carl Ullis says that Imran's been great, and it's even better when they've got two or three players in there. Uh, thanks for the the comments and uh, Imran will be doing tomorrow as well. He might have a new career actually. Oh, he said it fat. Oh, wow. No, he's fat. Thin. He thin, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> wow, massive turning point. Yes, that's a massive turning point. And that's all because he played the wrong shot. Okay, it's two shots ago. Jason shoot this for? No, oh, yeah, wait and blink. Does he shoot the four? I'd be a little bit annoyed we always left the table. Uh, is it not a case for just playing off the seven and hooking uh, him? And hooking no, it's him. too dangerous. You can leak it out. There's absolutely no way in this world you play that shot as long as you're breathing. I don't know. Chris, be in the back of the pocket in a flash. Wow. Just. But there was pressure on the shot. There was a case for refusing. He should have had an easier starter. And that's like his insurance ball, you know what I mean? He had to take his insurance there ball. There was a case for refusing it. And it was a massive shot in the match because now it's real game on. Well, he took it. I mean, he's made it. That's all. I'm not sure if you would have gone for that, Darren. No, oh, I've gone for it because I've had to go for it. But I wouldn't have liked it. I mean, if you play well, it don't matter. You just get down and stroke it in, don't you? You're confident. But if you're struggling, then it's a tough shot, isn't it? Well, yeah, is it? I, I think I would have definitely played the snooker. Chris, I've, I've known you. You uh, were never playing the snooker, Chris. <laughs> if anyone's playing the, the, the snooker there, it would be someone like Darren or Chris. Uh, I wouldn't play snooker because it's a touchy <laughs> shot. It's not, it's not natural, is it? You've got to perfect speed. What would uh, Keith Brewer be playing well, there? Keith Brewer oh, he'd be uh, touching ball behind <laughs> the seven. He'll, he'll be having an heart attack and play that four ball. He was on the chat yesterday, was Keith? Yeah, he was on the... What a character he is. Oh, Tony, what's the man he's smoking? smoking. <laughs> he's smoky bacon. Cracks me up sometimes, Chris. Big, big rack there, eight seven. And you got to say that Torsten's let him back in. And that's the first. He, he has missed one other ball, what wasn't so good, Torsten. But besides that, he played pretty much perfect in this match. But he, uh, he put a quick one in there. Yeah, and it's getting closer to the shootout stage. Oh yes, we like a shootout. Me and Jason was actually talking earlier. He said, wouldn't it be nice if we both played each other in the final? Yeah, I know. I was there at the restaurant and, uh, last night. Well, and and it would it'd come down to a shootout. And it, and I it think went from a neutral, as well. I think from a neutral point of view, it would be the dream final. No respect to the other guys left in, the remaining, uh, who's done great, uh, to get to the semi-finals. And obviously, Ken, uh, Clenty is going to be a massive hurdle for the winner of these two. Chris, you play the Ramonian tomorrow, the, the underdog. How do you feel yeah, about that? Well, Contrasting styles is very deliberate and quite slow. Well, I watched him play, to be honest with you, and obviously he's going to have all the support, which uh, I like anyway, because uh, I like to uh, I like to be the underdog, if you, you know what I mean, the with, the, with the crowd. But you're not the underdog, you're a massive favourite, but the crowd's going to be against you. Yeah, but I like that, that makes me play better. Yeah, I like that The too. more they cheer against me, the more I play better. Yeah, yeah it's awesome. But obviously, he's, he's, he's in the semi-final. He's obviously beat some great players. You've got to be pleased to have him instead of Fedor, though, right? Well, Fedor beat me early in Fido's the tournament, so the yeah, I'd, I'd be lying if I said I wouldn't rather play yeah. him. Yeah. Yeah. He kind of lost the plot in that but match, from what I saw. But you just don't know what's going to happen. Tomorrow's another day, and who knows? See, he, medium he, break, pop the cue ball, ball inside every time. He's uh, OK as well. He on, does the eight ball go? Um, well, well, he's going to leave the three ball. Well, he's going to get rid of the three, and the eight ball will go. Of course it will. So he's got to shoot the, the, the one ball th first, I would have thought. Did he make two balls? I think he did. He's made uh, one so spot and one uh, stripe. Yeah, well, the... So uh, he's got a choice. So no, I believe he's been... 
Or maybe he has got a choice, but I, but I think he's made two solids. No. Oh, Three, four, correct. five, six. Yeah, he's made, made one of each, he's going to shoot the one ball. Oh, did did you leave your glasses at home, Dad? No. Old jam jars are going. Oh, needs this off the rail. Just. Oh, Alex Creshan's in the, in the chat, our, uh, our official referee. Yes, this is the last quarter final. Yeah, very good referee is Alex. Yep, also a professional snooker referee. You'll be seeing on your screens on BBC and uh, Eurosport. What do you think about Corey Jewell not being the U in the US team, does? Well, I thought he would have definitely meant that eight. The eight was been picked for sure. He should have been the eight. There must be some. Uh, Alex. Maybe some. Uh, he needs to run a bit. He needs to bounce. I mean, on playing ability, he should have made the top eight, shouldn't he? Well, that for me is probably the strangest shot I've ever seen Torsten play. Did, he didn't. He needed to clear that table down there. Play just the two and the, and correct, the three you last. Just get rid of the two balls at the top of the table, then the two, then the three, then the eight. I mean, he, 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 he can cut this in and he's he's, he's fine, but um, just needs to be careful. Don't catch the two and scratch. No, he can miss it with some English. Yeah, it's a little bit easier than first thought, but you got a question from Andre Popper, a good friend of mine actually. He's asking about the rack against Mika. Did you believe he was going to clear up from the start? Um, well, obviously, you don't think you're, you're going to clear up from the start. You're just taking each shot as it comes in that position because I was I was absolutely done from the from the break off. Um, but obviously, when you make the first shot and then I hooked myself on the, I think it was a two ball and I swerved my side round, made the two. I fancied that that shot more than any of the other two. But then, obviously, for the other one to come off as well, it was just well. The shot was the last one. It was just uh, a dream come true, really. All the other three shots would have been irrelevant if you don't make the last one. That was a dream shot. Yeah. That was a money ball. Chris does those run outs every day. Don't worry about that. Uh, not like that one. You might not ever see that again. I've seen similar. Maybe in, maybe in the amateur league or something. Look at this. Wow. Oh, I think in the uh, playing for the two ball there. I think you only had that one ball left. You need to be careful here, though, because on, very good shape. on this new cloth, this this may not take with right hand spin. Right hand spin. Is he not playing for the two ball after this, Jim? Why not just playing ball like that? He played that with right hand spin, I, I believe. A force punch that I thought he could have. I thought he could have played with a lot of left and force it round the angles. Different when you're on the table, you just want to keep it simple. So he, he's got to keep his head still on this one. He jumped on that eight ball in the previous game. Yeah, nice shot. He it struck, was struck that one nice. Yeah, he didn't stay down as much as uh, I would have liked there. It was up pretty quick. Cheers, Chris. Yeah, thanks for that, Chris. Just had a taster of his uh, lunch. Lovely. Oh, Skip thinks so. the Moscone Cup's not going to last much longer. Well, I think that obviously the Moscone Cup's great business, so uh, and it's growing and growing. So uh, I have to disagree with you, Chip. Skip, sorry. <laughs> but yeah, Europe against Asia would be great. A separate tournament. They're still working on the Reyes Cup. The last time I heard, but. Uh, no news. Why isn't the Moscone Cup open to be continent v continent? Well, it is continent v continent. Yeah, and it's always been USA against Europe, and uh, yeah, the there was history. no complaints when America was winning all the time. You got to get on them practice table, guys, and put the work in. Simple as that. You do it in, in the golf and the Ryder Cup, so and uh, a lot of other team sports where it's USA versus America. Uh, USA versus America does. Yeah, U U USA versus America, that's a good one, isn't it? USA versus Europe, I apologise. Yeah, you've just got to put the work in and uh, find the right strategy and the, and the right team. No, Tony, we weren't, we weren't sharing Chris's lunch. He, he, he farted and he does about oh, 30... Oh, Jim, you can't be saying that. 30 farts per second. What the pro? What do the pros think about iPol? Uh, what do you think of that, Chris? Um, what, what, is that the computer game? 
I think it's somewhere where there's like a fish tank or something. Look like there's fish swimming on the table. Ah, oh, yeah, we saw that in China. In China yeah. or something? It yeah. looks a bit of fun, but... Yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, it looks nice. It'd be nice in your living room or something. Good shot there by Jason. Yeah, opened up the whole rack with one shot. For anybody watching, that's the main thing to do when you uh, break off eight ball, get rid of the problems as quick as possible. Who would you pick for the Moscone Cup at the moment? Uh, well, obviously, being European, I'm going to be biased and say Europe, but uh, if I was neutral, I'd uh, obviously be saying Europe as well. So, a quick update on the earlier matches today. Uh, Chris Melling played the first match of the day in his quarter-final, and he beat uh, Wojciech Szewczyk from Poland. Scoreline of 13-9. Uh, and then we had uh, Loa Nadani, the local favourite, playing Fedor Gorst. Uh, and Fedor Gorst, on paper, was a massive favourite. But um, Loa Nadani actually prevailed with a scoreline of 13-11 and played really solid towards the end of that match. And uh, then we had an absolute clinic by uh, Klinti Kaczy playing the young uh, Polish uh, kid, uh, Daniel Macchio. We had a great tournament, had some great scalps in this event, uh, beat the likes of Clenty in his first match, and then uh, Dennis Grabe, and then Darren Appleton. Yeah, thanks had for a reminder. very good tournament, um, but uh, Clenty put on a clinic, of, uh, just played some awesome pool and uh, beat him 11-13-4. Uh, yeah, clinical, uh, <coughs> very yeah, clinical. Yeah, He's yeah, a nice young kid as well. Just, I'm really starting to like Clenty catch you as a person. Yeah, it's just a... Uh, uh, absolute break and run clinic yeah I mean uh, and this big rack here 9-8 what a match this is this is our fourth quarter final of the day uh, the winner of this match will play plenty catchy and uh, what a what a match we have in store there yeah the some great matches against plenty well, my team for the Moscone they're asking uh, well if you I forced to pick the team if I was captain, probably obviously plenty catches. I'm going to make the team. Let's let us let us put him in the team. He's, he's a, a lock. And it looks like Mario is going to make the team. And uh, Albin's number three. In the Albin's rankings. number three. I think Neil's number four or somewhere around there. So no, I, mean, I don't think Neil's is. He's, up, he's, he's in the top five. So I looked the other day. Okay. So them, them four are looking in pretty good shape. Well, three out them four, sorry. And then obviously after that you got a bunch of players: uh, Jason, Jason Shaw, Joshua Filler, Alex Kazakis, uh, Chris Mellin. Uh, it's a tough one, very tough. It could be any five of ten players really. You beat Joshua earlier in this tournament, so you've got a case, haven't you, Darren? Yeah, I just uh, I sent Marcus a message after I beat him. <laughs> <laughs> Some flowers and chocolates. Yeah, I mean we we can pick. Uh, a good two or three teams. Skip and Jones says Shaw and Filler. Not a bad shout. I, I, do, I don't think it matters which five are in the team, to be honest. I think whichever five are in the team is going to be a great team. And, uh, yeah, we just had confirmation that Niels is number four. So yeah, yeah I've no worries about whoever the five are. I'm going to rep represent you at the team great. Obviously, we all like to play in it. I like to be involved, but if not, it's, uh, it's a great event to watch. I know well. Someone's asked, I wonder if Shane had any influence in not having Corey on the USA team. Well, I would imagine Johan Ruschen, because I know him pretty well. I'm pretty sure that he uh, doesn't bother with any of that type of stuff. Uh, it'd be Johan's, uh, I would imagine it'd be Johan's decision. And it yeah. must be uh, all I can think of, a uh, strategy. Strategy reasons, tactics, I, I don't know. Good break there by Torsten. This table wide open. Great standard, to be fair. Not not many awesome, mistakes. Yeah. yeah, the match is heating up, and they are actually going blow for blow, toe for toe right now. Just like two boxers in a ring. Yeah, uh, really stepping up here. Uh, my American team, obviously, you pick Shane. Uh, second, I'd have just Justin Bergman. Uh, and then. Uh, it's a tough after that, to be honest. It's tough. Uh, so I think they're the best two players in America. After that, I, it's. Uh, 
I don't know. Uh, I'd say Skyler, but because he played so bad last year in the Moscow Cup, uh, he's got a point to prove, so I'm, I'm hoping he's going to step up this year. And then, uh, obviously, young Billy Thorpe and Dennis Hatch. I guess that would be my five if I was a captain. But that's not going to be the five because Bergman's not on the, in the boot camps. Yeah, he didn't play for the six. He's played for the five now and then six ball last. I think he should have played for the six, but that's my opinion. Yeah, just probably, probably didn't want to, because he had to spin it a little bit, the cue ball with some inside spin. Does he play two rails here or one? No, just one rail. I think I prefer the two, personally. Um, yeah, just preference. I think he's playing Playing two. ball, two rails, you're I coming into the black. Two. It's easy to judge, isn't it? Yeah. You stick to your nine ball, Jim. <laughs> no, no, you've actually improved at eight ball. You had some good results, pal. Yeah, I've never really played too much of eight ball, but I'm, I'm getting, getting used to it, getting uh, better, improving all the time, well, watching the top players. 10 8, ten Jason eight. to break. All Jason can do is make sure he wins his own breaks and just pray that he gets an opportunity. And I think he will. If he keeps winning his own breaks, I think that one opportunity will come to tie this match up. Is there any pool rooms in Belgium? We're getting asked. There is. Him running all better than me. There is. There is some pool rooms in Belgium. Just played a tournament in Belgium last year. Um, Stella Archway opened, but it was very small. I'm sure there's some bigger venues. Joshua Filler is the best player of all time. It's a bit harsh, isn't it? Well, a bit premature, sorry. He's certainly heading in the right direction, but he's certainly not the best player of all it's time. It's a discussion for like 15, 20 years in front. Uh, come back in 10, 15 years and we, we can comment on it really. I mean, yeah. there's no doubt in his talent and his ability and his potential, but uh, a lot of things can happen. There's Steve, no guarantees Steve in pool. Steve Chick and Sandor Totter in the house. Hello, Steve. How are you doing, mate? Keeping well? Why is it North America versus Europe? Because it was never uh, North America versus Europe. It's always been USA versus Europe. And if you look at the Moscone, the overall score, I think it's 12 to 11 to Team Europe. So it's been pretty close over the, the history of the Moscone Cup. I've said it for two or three years. America should have Canada as well. So they'll have John Mora and Alex Pagulain. Then we've got a little bit of a game on our hands. But what happens then, Jim, is you get the American, some of the American players saying, well, that's not America, that's, uh, that's Canada. They're from Canada. Yeah, but so otherwise it's, it's just going to get can't really win. boring and uh, people stop going to stop watching it. The TV ratings are going to go down and, you know, if Europe comes out to a 3 or 4 nil lead, you know it's over. And who's going to watch the TV? Yeah, it's a tough one, Jim. Austin's uh, taking right. a... Yeah, I mean, because, like, obviously Great Britain and Ireland against USA in the Ryder Cup, I mean, obviously it's a no contest. Uh, at first it was a charity event in it anyway, back in the old days, the Ryder Cup. And obviously they, had, they, were, they were getting booted 18-1, 18-2. I mean, they had no, no, no shot at all. Uh, they had, like, what? Uh, uh, Great Britain and Ireland's very small. Obviously, uh, Europe versus USA, it's a, it, it's a fair game. I mean, the USA just need to step up. They have the players, and they have the... Oh, he's unlucky if he scratches... Uh, facilities and the numbers, they just need to step up and... and has he made a solid? He's unlucky if he's made a solid. Three, and show four, how five, six. Yeah, he has made a solid, and look at the stripes. He, he was actually scratching, though, Imran. He got kicked off, in off. And another ball kicked it away from the pocket. It was going towards the pocket and it stopped it, right? The other ball, yeah. And look how horrible uh, spots are here. So I think the only option is to play it safe here. Some kind of safety, not leave toasty a shot. Yeah, a bit too much talk with the Rangers of the Moscow and Cup. I mean, I don't mind speaking about it, but I mean, it's all opinions. And uh, I mean, it, you've got 350 million to pick to find five great pool players. I mean, if you can't find five great pool players from 350 million, then there's a serious, serious problems. 
uh, where I can find five great players from uh, my town, uh, my uh, county in uh, West Yorkshire, England, which is like maybe uh, what? 50 miles. No, what's the population? Population, uh, maybe. Yeah, a fair few um, million. Yeah, but I mean, how many pool players do we have? It's probably like uh, a thousand. I mean, we we can find uh, five five great players to uh, to do great in the Moscone Cup. So uh, I don't think numbers and all that stuff comes into yes, it. Yes, correct, Max. They did switch to a Eurotour style uh, nine ball break in the Moscone, and uh, that's a good statement because uh, if they kept it with the the normal conventional rack. Uh, I think America have got more of a chance. Yeah, but the problem is, Jim, is that when they had the nine ball on the spot, if you look at the stats for the last, for the previous four Moscone Cups prior to the last one, America had be better breaking stats with a cup break. Really? It's a fact. With the Euro Tour, yes. Euro Tour style. Break. USA have got better breaking stats than Europe. Oh, really? The problem is missing them straight in balls. Okay. That's what it all boils down to with the Moscone Cup. Okay. And last year they played the one ball on the spot. That's a good stat to know. The one ball was on the spot last year. What was the score last year? Right. Like 11 uh, 4 or something? Yeah. yeah you, may play, you may play the hook here, which I think is the right shot. Yeah, definitely. You can right worry shot. about the break and everything else. End of the day, you've got to make the balls. It's as simple as that. It's a clever little shot there. He's opened the eight ball. Real clever shot there from Jason. And for me, Torsten's going to try and hit the 15 ball here. Try and cause that seven ball some problems. Well, Bill, I don't, I don't live in the USA anymore, so that rules me out. So I'll be, uh, I'll be, I'll be sticking, uh, representing or supporting uh, Europe. This could go horribly wrong for, for Thorsten. If, yeah. if, he, if he kicks down here to these balls on the right and needs a shot on the seven. Well, there's one thing, Jim. He's, he's got a huge, huge target. Yeah, I mean, he's going to hit a stripe. He needs to hit the 15 ball, really. Or the 10, and, and, and try not to dislodge the seven. But obviously, he's got to hit a rail. He doesn't want to scratch. He yeah, and It like looks like he's going for the 15. Like a medium speed. Not mm. too hard. I disagree, Emery about the uh, race to fire as a toss wow. of a coin. Wow, how has he gone through that gap? That is unbelievable. Because, uh, if it was a toss of a coin, then Europe wouldn't have won the last eight Moscone Cups very convincingly. And it's all about pressure. It's, just, it's as simple as that, guys. I've what played what in the window he's found so there? Chris, Chris and Imran have played in the Moscone. It's more than race to five. What a window he's found there. Did you see that, Darren? Unbelievable. Well, that was the that was the mistake Jason was waiting for. And he's certainly back in this match. How do you find the humidity affecting the pool tables in the UK? Does yeah, it's okay. Just uh, just you adjust the conditions, don't you? I mean, that's where, what professionals are supposed to do. You adjust the conditions and uh, make sure you're prepared for it. Obviously, that means equipment, uh, material. I mean, obviously, towels and gloves, whatever everyone likes to use. And uh, obviously, when the, the tables get very wet, then you've got to put, uh, you've got to change your uh, your your uh, cue action a, a little bit. And now, and now you hit the cue one. Has he landed a little bit flat on this ball? Is he okay? Well, he's played a poor shot. I, I like drawing back there. Well, he's got to draw, but he's got to yeah. draw across. He's Maybe rail first with spin. Oh, he's okay, he could he's play okay. it. He was having his on. Played it well. He's just played it great. So that wasn't easy to judge the speed there. But he played it beautiful. What a massive uh, match we're going now. Ten nine. What a match. It's still skill in it, Max. I mean, it's. Uh, uh, you got you got to play good under pressure. You got to make the right decisions under pressure. You got to play good safety un, under pressure. I mean, it 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 all rolls into one. I well, mean, Ma uh, Max has just said there that the uh, America have talent to win ten Moscones in a row. Well, you can pick your own price on that one. Yeah. That will never ever happen as long as I live. Not anymore. Yeah. Not in this day and age. Yeah, maybe ten years ago. It never has happened. 
I mean, obviously, I understand the Americans' point What's of view. Obviously, one, it's tough, anyway, when you're getting beat every year. Obviously, they've, uh, they've, they've, they're looking for answers, you know what I mean? So I, I, un I understand their side of things, but Europe didn't complain when they were getting beat every year. They just worked harder, put the work in, yep. uh, did the preparation, and obviously they, they turned the tables. Simple as that. You've got, you've got to work hard. You've got to work hard and work as a team. Simple as that. If you do that, I mean, you, you see a lot of underdogs be successful in different sports, in team sports. It's all about hard work and commitment and playing as a team. And you've got the right guy as a captain, there's no doubt about it. You've just got to give him a chance, you've got to give him an opportunity to do his thing. It's not going to happen overnight. I don't see any success for America this year, sadly, in the Moscone. But in the future, it, is, it, there's, it, it can be done. The problem is, there's no real youngsters coming through. There's a couple of good little players. Um, but are they potential, like, world beaters? Well, you wouldn't put them in the standard of, say, Victor Zielinski and Joshua Filler. Or Clenty, yeah. Clenty. Nope. Like you were saying, the American About youngsters. the youngsters coming through this the grassroots of the game in America. It's work out. I mean, it's like any, any sport, you've got to get your youth system. And uh, yeah, America's got to... I mean, they're trying. There's a few people trying, like Sam Diep with the... Uh, Billiard Foundation, but th they need more of them coming through. They need the competition. The right, they, they need the right coaching, uh, but not be overcoached. I'm seeing a lot of juniors. I feel like they're being overcoached a little bit. I mean, when when we were kids and what have you, there was there wasn't any coaching really. You just play, don't you? You learn and play off the top players and learn from your mistakes and figure out what. Yeah, it's nice to get some advice and a bit of help coaching wise, but don't but don't get too robotic and too much into stats and all. Uh, technical side you've just got to, got to keep the game simple and uh, play to your strengths and work on your weaknesses there that's really important uh, I have no doubt that America is good enough to win the Moscow they just need to work hard and we all want to see a competition we all want to see a close battle don't we as, as, as a, a neutral I mean, of, of, of a fan of the game, we, we want to see close battles and uh, oh, see uh, the American the team play as good as they can do. Last ball rolling, but I don't think he's got a shot. Yeah, he's made that ball a few times. He's not got a shot, I don't believe. He's in trouble. This is Jason's chance from here. The only <coughs> shot I can see is the bank on the six ball. Yeah. That's the only shot I saw. And for me, he's got to play it slow, so the cube he tries to get the six near the pocket. That's the only shot, unless he wants a, a very thin cross bank on the five. Yeah, this match is getting tasty now, isn't it? You know, remember in America, there's loads of leagues in America. There's more leagues in America than Europe when it comes to pull, uh, so uh, I don't see how they can't play in a team environment. This is the part of the World, so World Pool Series where we have an interesting format because you have to take what you make. Yeah. Now uh, Thorsten's made a, a, a solid, he has to go for a solid and uh, he hasn't got a, a shot, he hasn't got an easy shot anyway. Someone asked me what you think of uh, uh, pa from Thailand, great young talent, 15 years old. She played in the World Pool Series last year. You give a good account of herself as well, Chris. And she practices every single day. Oh, she's great at uh, social media, isn't she? She's a sponsor's dream, really. She loves the game, very dedicated, and uh, her father really pushes her as well. Do you think Snook could become bigger in America? North America, no. Unfortunately not. Yeah, it's a little bit like uh, football, isn't it, really? They don't seem to quite be able to make it in America, which is a bit of a surprise, really. It is getting a little bit bigger. I mean, David Beckham's put a team together now, hasn't he? Wayne Rooney's over there. The MLS is getting a bit stronger, but women's football, uh, women's game's big over there. Women's soccer, really big. I 
disagree, Sean. I think you've got the best coach you could possibly want for Team America. But everyone's got their opinion, haven't they? So I think, uh, it's enough Moscone talk anyway from us. So we'll, we'll leave you guys to chat about the Moscone. What, what could, <coughs> try and focus on this great match here. It's 10 now. What, what did he do there? I don't know, I missed it because I was answering the question. He's not happy anyway, so I obviously missed that one. I do apologise. Oh, he went for the cross bank on the five. Who, Thorsten? Uh, Thorsten did, yeah, the, oh. that's the only shot he kind of had. Uh, missed it, and this is the result. Oh. And not an easy lay of the land. Got uh, a ten ball to deal with. Europe, guy Robert says Europe has snooker and ten foot tables. Uh, I, don't, I haven't seen no. no don't, don't have I haven't seen no tables. ten foot tables anyway. Uh, pool tables anyway. That's for sure. I've never seen a ten foot pool table in uh, Europe. Yeah, we well, I think there's been one. They had, they had, they had, they had one table, didn't they, at that Dern, Dern City Classic or something? Yeah, Holland. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. Obviously got shipped in or something. Dislodge the ten now. Yes. Okay. So yes. He's got he's a chance now. He's on the fifteen. Uh, he needs to deal. After these, he needs to deal with the balls up up top of the table. I thought. Well, he's got to play. Surely he's got to play for the thirteen, I believe. Or maybe it's a bit tricky. Because uh, ten thirteen could be the last ball. Yeah. Well, that's okay. Yeah. He's a little bit too hard. Yeah. Too hard, he's not on it. Yeah. That's poor, that is. For me, he's got to over it that ball because it's guaranteed to be on the 10. And if he doesn't get on the 10, he's on the 11 in the yeah. corner. Right, yeah. that's what you said before, like it, playing yourself into yeah, areas where you, you've got Again, options, where yeah. you, you under it that shot, you're in trouble, you've got to over it that shot. Yeah. Okay, yeah, good call, Chris. Yeah, so many options as well. Even if you have to take the 10, he's still had a great chance of getting out. Yeah. Well, the 10 13 is the better shot for me. Well, has he got to cut that stripe Maybe in now? He's where he's nearest to? Well, he's got to cut the ball past the pink into the right hand corner for me. Well, oh, that one, the I temple. Think I think he's got to try and make the temple. Yeah, the temple. Come back across, that's all he can do. He's good at these shots, isn't he? I mean, yeah, I think yeah. he's favourite to make this shot, Chris. Yeah, yeah. yeah I think so. He's favourite to make it, but for me, that's his ball to connect the 13. Yeah, yeah, so, so, so yes. He's, he's, he's he's got got his work. Unless he can go twice across and get on the 13. Yeah, yeah exactly. Scratched. Is he no, he hasn't scratched. Ooh. He's, he's, got got well, he's OK, he's still got a chance. He'll have under it or hit it too hard. But now he's got to take the other one down the rail. He's got to take the other one down the rail, and if he leaves himself a half ball 11, he can play shape for that 13. Yeah, yeah he, he, he can still get out, but that would have been better if he got the cue ball rather. He's not playing this now. I don't like this. I don't like this, it's very I, scratchy. I think I'd play the other one and come across and miss the three. Yeah. Then play the 11 in the same pocket, come across yeah, twice, the then play the 13. Must be a lot better than this is tough. Yeah, very tough. Making the ball tough, but getting position is even harder. Wow, look at this shot. Well, we could be unlucky. Yeah, he's very unlucky. No, he's, he's, wow. if he's, he's, on he's, that, he's unlucky there if he's not on the ball. No, he's if he's on that. it, he's probably played the best shot of the match so far, because that was massive. I don't think he is on it, does. Yeah, it's tough. It's tough to get on position, not to bring well, his next shot's tough position also. I think he's on it. He can this spin ball does in. cut, though, Chris. I know it's thin, but it does cut. If he's got to take the one down the rail. No, he can spin this in, trust me. Got to be careful he doesn't over the ball, though. Needs an extension, I think. This is tough. Yeah, I think a touch and look in there. And if he's got to, like, sort of spin it in, it's so hard to get position after. Is he just going to drop it in? Oh, that's not the shot. That was never the shot. He had to play it two rails. He had to play it two rails. He cuts in the corner, I believe, past the four. Only his only other option here is rail kick, first kick and bank it to the side. The only issue with that is your cue ball is going to be nowhere near the eight, and it may go up the table. 
Man, he's a miracle now, really, isn't he? But if anyone can cut this ball in the top pocket, it's him. Oh, yeah, cutting the ball, but where the, where the, where the cue ball's going, you just you need, you needs a lot of things to happen for him here. It's careless, isn't it? Oh, it would have been a great finish as well, that would have. Corbyn Yee, five times world champion. What game's that? It's amazing how they make these world titles up, isn't it? I don't recall him winning five world titles. Lots of people's estate is where they're like six, seven, and eight times world champion. I haven't seen one win more than I haven't seen some of them win a world champion. He won the world ten ball, right? Won the world ten ball. And that's it. It's only world world Cup of pool. Well, it's not a world champion, is it? Otherwise, I'll, 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 I'll start added numbers also. He won the world ten. Uh, sorry, he won the world nine ball and the world ten ball, so he's two-time world champion. He won the ten ball, didn't he? In yeah, he did. And then he won the world nine ball. In Philippines, he, he beat yeah. Shane in the final a couple of years ago. So that's a two. I know he's won a junior world title, but it's a bit different. Isn't it? Yeah, Jason's really disappointed here. He had a chance and he made some great shots, but that choice for his shot there. That yeah, I would have took the other choice. one. You know, when we said he should have took the one down the rail first. Well, he's got two options, hasn't he? He'd rather go cut it in or kick it in the side pocket. I think he's got to kick it in the centre. Yeah, because he's got some chance of being on the eight then, hasn't he? He's got a chance, but the cue ball could slide the ball behind four. the three. Yeah. What, what other option has he got? Can he flick off it and hook him behind it? <laughs> That's uh, asking too much. It is, but it's an option. Can he cut it in the side pocket? That's a bit thin. No. No position on the eight. Corner, maybe. Depends how much he can see of the ball. I think he's got to go rail first and bank it in the middle. Kick it in the middle. So much as it cut a ball in the side pocket. Nah, not on these. These are, these are quite nippy, these side pockets. No. Yeah, there's no chance he's cutting that in the middle. Yeah, it's too thin. Too, too cute an angle. And the cue ball will be going nowhere. Because he'd have to play at pocket speed to even have a, a chance to make it. So that means the cue ball's going to land near the top right hand pocket. Somebody's saying shot clock since everybody gripes about catch it. Well, yeah, I mean, he's in a tough situation, so that's why he's taking his time. I mean, anybody in this position would be taking their time. Very tough situation, yeah, you can't I mean, blame he's, 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 he's one of the quickest players in the world, so but sometimes you've got to take more time, and this yeah. is one of those situations. No, no shot clock in effect at the moment. It's only if the players are really slow, they'll put it in effect. Well, of course, it's the longest. I mean, he's in, a, he's in an unbelievable tough spot, and it's a massive situation in the match. So He's, he's looking at flicking off it, yeah. He's got to figure out his options and... Figure out what to do here. He's, He's got to kick it. Come on, Jason. You've got to kick this in the side pocket. Yeah, I think he might have got a kick shot here. I think Chris had got a kick in this. Oh, without a doubt. Not even a question. I'd be playing that kick. I can't see anything else that he can do. I think he's got a 50-50 chance of making this. <laughs> Down the corner with right hand spin, four rails for the eight. Yeah, good luck with that. If you make that, I'll give you the it's money myself. It's impossible to play that shot first, do Correct. Yeah, you have to hit it a lot harder. Someone says, cut, cut it down rail and stop the cue ball with a free ball. <laughs> <laughs> what, with inside? <laughs> uh, he's going for the kick in the middle. Wow. wow! Oh, baby! What wow. a shot! What a shot! The shot of the tournament! Certainly one of them. Unbelievable shot. Well played, Jason. Well, that was worth the wait. Yeah. He took five minutes on that shot, but it was well worth yeah, it. It was worth every second. What just, a shot that was. Just doesn't want to miss this now. Well, it's the key now. Don't nah, make he he make sure you make this. the block, otherwise it was a waste of time. Uh, he won't <laughs> miss this. He won't miss this. Uh, bread and butter for Jason. Should be. Pressure on him. Yeah, right, the way he was stroke. Ooh, what a massive rat that was. Just about to give it the big one as well. Had a little think about it with a right hand and changed his mind. <laughs> 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 Just pulled it away at the last minute. What a rat that was. Great kick shot wow. that was. This is why we love the game, innit, for moments like that. It just uh, put, put, puts a smile on your face. Unless you're a Torsten Norman fan or a Torsten Norman. Torsten. This is why the the great players, isn't it? Just uh, they just 
to do something special. And that rack was, in my opinion, absolutely a must win for Jason. Huge rack. So, race to 13, could we have a shootout on our hands? Someone says Melling would have kicked it in six rails with a bank curve shot. Yeah, been probably been something like that. Been a pretty nippy match. I mean, they've only been nearly 2,000 viewers does. Yeah, it's beautiful. And it, they've, they've, they've only been playing two hours, so it's a pretty quick match, really. We scheduled three hours for each match, so it's not going to take them another hour to play uh, five, uh, four, four racks. Sorry, just to shoot as well. Yeah, I've seen that shooter. Needs to win this one. Good break required here. Got the spin on the cue ball. Met the one. One's in. Where's the cue ball? Ooh. <laughs> one's in. A nice lay of the land. Wow. wow. They are sat as good as you could ever ask them. Three, seven, four, six, two last, eight ball in the corner. Wow, what a break that is. You couldn't physically make them better. Is that a four ball down there? Where he's it is, yeah. yeah. He's going to go three, seven, four, six, maybe pop. Four, four and the six in the same shot. And then be straight in on the two. Well, that's not his best shot. What has he played there? He's all right, play for the four now. It's well, fine. he's always going to play for the four now, but he shouldn't be queuing over oh, yeah. the nine. Yeah, yeah. No, it's not a problem. No, but it makes, it could make it. Well, yeah, it could yeah, be. Yeah. He might lose yeah. position here. He needs to be careful. He could have done with spinning this, you see. Ooh, I don't want this. Yeah, he's fine, perfect speed. Oh, yeah. Perfect. I thought he hit a bit too hard when he first hit it. Now it's, it really wants to try and make both, both balls in. And straight yeah. in on the two. Yeah, don't L try and slow roll A little bit of left hand spin. Just make sure you don't hit it funny. So yeah, one ball goes in a funny direction. Yeah. He's had to drop. Yeah, Great shot. shot. Great shot. A lot better shot than when it looked there. That was a dream break. No, I'm still going to make this. I mean, he's got like a little funny angle. You know, one of them little funny angles where you just got to kill it. Nah, you like to be straight in, don't you? But I think he's it, virtually straight on this. Yeah, I'm just saying he's got to kill it a little bit. Uh, even if you stop the ball, you're fine. There you go, killed it. Beautiful. And what a turnaround in this match. There we have it, 11-10, Jason Shaw. The comeback is on. First time in the match, Jason's actually, actually taking the lead, I believe. Yeah, first time in the match he's taking the lead, right? Yeah, that was uh yeah, massive. Uh, it's amazing, isn't it? And turning points. That was big for Jason to kick that ball in, but obviously now that he's broken the come out sweet. Thorsten's got to come again. with a, a reply here. He's got to come yeah. with a counter attack. Yeah, the first lead in the old match for Jason Shaw. Yep. But Let's not get carried away. This match is still game on big time. I mean, tarleton has got his break. It's not like he's at a massive disadvantage here. If he wins this rack, it's back on serve, isn't it? So th these breaks become massive now, don't they? Yeah, and don't be surprised if Tarleton breaks dry. And don't be surprised if he scratches in the side pocket. <laughs> this is what happens when people pull off silly shots against you. Don't be surprised if he makes five balls and lands uh, plum. Oh, he was going oh, towards was the side. He's got scratching. lucky. He's going in, going in. Oh, Jason must be screwing there. Oh, and look at the spots there. Does a the three ball go? Oh, three balls tied up. Unlucky. The cue ball was just to start to arc in the side pocket. Yeah, it there, did. He didn't hit that that yeah. flush at all. That one ball. You got a bit of luck, and that's what you need. Tarleton's Tarsten, okay. Yeah. We'll get him, and we'll get him against him. What against does he do with the three ball? Well, he can plot the two in the side pocket. He could even pot the two now, now and go into the three. Yeah. I know it's risky because he isn't guaranteed a ball. I like to play the two in the side, play it after the one ball, and then play it off the side cushion, the bottom cushion, flick the three ball out. might have an angle on the four. 
What do you reckon, Daz? Well, having a closer look, I don't think the free ball passes no, into, it doesn't. into either corner. Does, so. the four, does the four ball pass? The four if ball the four passes, ball passes yeah. he, can, he can play the but four. The four now. passes. I think he's got. I think he's got to attack it now. I don't. I think he's got to play the two to attack it. I think Side he's got to play it first rail. shot. I'm, I'm with Darren. I think that's a bit higher than what you think, there, Chris. Well, the problem is if he plays it now, if he cannons the stripe, he's got no shot. Where if he plays it with a two it ball. Might. Oh, yeah, obviously, I don't know. He's played to leave an angle on the on two the ball two. and yeah. I think come round, you know, make, come come off the, 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 the two rails and, and come side rail, bottom rail, then kiss into the, the free and the stride. Because that would have took the cue ball table. Yeah. That's what I was saying, and now he's in big trouble. Well, now it's going to be a case where he's going to be putting all his eggs in the basket now, isn't it? He's, he's, he's taking his insurance balls away, basically. That's why I think he could, if he could have played it first, it'd been better because at least he might have had a shot on the sixth ball or can the seventh. Can he draw it with right hand screw yeah. and bring the three ball out? Maybe. At least Maybe. be careful. He could miss Q. This is he's trying to get a lot of action on the cue ball. Well, this is good if he can do this. And if you think about it, he might have a couple of chances because even if he misses it and comes between the gap of the three and the uh, nine, I believe. Maybe the three ball banks. to steal a little bit of the pocket here as well uh, make the two ball into the right hand side of the side pocket it's very important to, to cheat the pockets sometime can he play the three uh, the, sorry the six and the seven then the one and then the four in the corner and play off the side rail into the three I mean that's an option but he's like you say he's, just, he's putting everything into one basket isn't he? four in the corner where is the four Oh, is it, I think it's on about. Uh, oh, there's four. We've got the six, the seven, the one, two, and three left. Yeah. He's gonna. He's, I think he's gonna play this. What he's doing. He's in, he's in the right side of the pocket like he has done. He's played it great. Wow! What, what a shot! Great shot. Great there, shot there. Yeah, it was never tough that one. No, oh, he just put a great execution. Brilliant shot. Yeah, yeah absolutely he hit it, hit brilliant well. shot. Yeah. Great execution. That could have been the, the match winner or loser right there. Yeah. I like getting rid of the six and seven quickly now, after these, the three ball. Oof. Wow, how what fast was he up off the cue there? He hit that really badly. Wow. He, well, he can pot the six and kill the cue ball dead for the seven in the opposite corner where the one is. I understand that, but he didn't want to land there, I know that. No, that, he, he was quick off the cue, and that's one thing that he does do when he's under pressure, he jumps up like crazy. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, don't be surprised if he uh, misses us. And, no, I don't think he'll miss this. He's just standing in and out of the rail. Uh, no, he can't I think he'll make it. I think he'll stop it dead. He's made it a little no, bit No, he's going to stand in and out of the rail. Ooh. Wow. <laughs> See, I, I, I thought that was madness. Because I think he could just stop that dead and he can't miss a pot if you stop it dead. Yeah, but... Um, it, everybody sees it differently, obviously. Yeah, he didn't hit it great, but it's in it's in the tray and that's all that matters. Look at the movement. Oh, well, Have you seen why? the movement? Yeah, he's jumping around. Just, just everybody now, just watch his head when he hits the cue ball. He's really, really quick up off the cue. Yeah, and that a, is pressure. He's a confidence player and a comfortable player. When he gets comfortable and confident, he's great. But when he's not, then... It, these these traits do come into his game. Just watch the head. Well, he kept that still. Stayed down that there. was really still. That was well played. Really? Yeah, this is a great run out for Torsten. He was in no man's land and yeah. uh, he's made a great run out. Yeah, in the end it was really good. So massive, massive game. Massive right. Getting yeah. closer and closer to the shootout. Yeah, um, fair play to Thorsten there. You know, d dug deep and. Uh, Showed a good uh, mentality under pressure. Well, I did call the shoot out after. I uh, called it as well, yeah. Six racks, I think it was. Yeah, 11 11. Jason's breaking, so he'd it, be desperate to win this game and then ask Tarson Oman the question. Exactly. Well, if he doesn't win this game, he, he becomes a massive second favourite, especially Tarson breaking the yeah, rack but, after. I mean, let's be honest there. I mean, Tarson was quite fortunate on the break. That cue ball was tracking towards the side pocket. Yeah. And then he, he, he uh, got kicked away. And he could have easily have not had that shot to break that free ball. But he did. And he took advantage of that. 
and I'd be absolutely delighted. Someone's asking how the shootout works, Darren. Yeah, we'll explain when we get there. <laughs> <laughs> you get five shots each, basically each like penalties one, yeah. in uh, soccer. Needs a good break. Needs to control that cue ball. Well, good lost, break. Lost, lost it a little bit. Has it made a ball? I think he's dry. He's dry. That is unbelievable. And just look he's at dry. both sets. Wow. Both sets are absolute sitters. Wow, I can't believe he's come dry. I prefer solids than stripes because you've got that ball out of the top pocket no, next I to the I three. Prefer, I prefer stripes, one million percent. You pop the nine ball up the rail, you Off play three. the ten. No, you don't even touch the three. I don't think he has. I think the ten ball goes. Where? Past the three. No, it doesn't. It doesn't, Chris. He has well, to play the nine ball off the three if he's going to shoot Well, if that. he doesn't, obviously you play it off the three. No, you play, gonna, take solids. He's going to take solids because of that reason. Does the seven ball go in the side pocket? No, no. it goes in the same pocket as Oof. the three. He hasn't played that, surely. No, he hasn't played that. Come out great, though. Absolutely. Couldn't, couldn't have come out any better. Well, this is what I'm saying. If he can play the stripe, he couldn't miss the nine ball. It was nine impossible. And then you stunt for the ball in the opposite centre pocket and everything's open. Well, I nice. think the four goes in the side. Obviously, it goes in the corner, but I think it goes in the side pocket. The mm. four? The seven, you're on the about seven, down. sorry. Seven. Where he's standing, yeah. yeah. Maybe he's going to play that last. He's going to get rid of the four balls, play the six with the spin, yeah, yeah. and then play the seven yeah. in the corner. Yeah, he could use the, the two, six, seven, could be his last three balls. Having a good old think. I just like making the yeah. four, the three, the one, and draw back. The two, the six, the seven, and then the eight in the, so yep. the corner pocket where the six is. That'll definitely be my way of going. Doesn't like using the rest, so. Yeah, but he's, he's nothing to do with this. this. Nothing to do, yeah. No, but he's under pressure. You've got to remember that. Yeah, I know, but the balls are allowing him to. Uh, overcome the pressure. Let's he, say. He, he could even play for the two in the corner if he stops his cue ball dead now. Mm. I think if a seven goes in the side pocket, you might see a different pattern. I don't think here. it does. Well, he's looking at it, he's just looked at it. So I think it does, Jim. If it does, you may say him play it after this and then draw for, draw out for the one. Yeah, exactly. What What is this pattern? I do not understand this whatsoever. Oh, I can see what he was trying to do now. I think he was trying to play position on the two, play the two, and then play the six, and then try and get position on the one, then play the seven in the side pocket, which is, like, definitely not the way to go, in my opinion. Well, but I could see why he was doing that. I understand what he's done. For me, there's a much easier route. But well, now it looks like he might play the one and then the seven in the side, then the two in the side, and, play and use the six ball as last. Or, I don't know, I don't know, it's hard to see exactly on the screen. Well, for me, he's got to go one, two in the side, six in the corner, and seven in the corner. Yeah, he can still do that. That, that for me, is his, his correct way. I'm pretty sure he can he can he can screw this one ball back in between the let's say seven and the fifteen. Because yeah, that's not the end of the world if he lands on a seven ball, is it? Yeah, but I mean, if he gets into the cue ball too much, he's in, he could be in trouble. No, but for me, you try you, you try and screw uh, draw back into the fifteen, Chris. You know what I mean? Just I use the fifteen as your target ball for I the cue ball. I like to top the one ball in with a touch of left. Touch of left. Top off the one ball in with a touch of left? Yeah, off the top rail and back down for the oh, two in the he's got, he's got more angle than what you think. Yeah, yeah, he's got more, more angle. I think you screw into the 15, but not too hard, you know what I mean? You want to just play into the 15, because then if he does that, it's perfect anyway on the, on, the, on the two ball. And if he misses the 15, he's okay anyway. Oh, he's played for the six. What a great shot that is. Well, that's a really good. I told you. Well, I mean, it's completely... Com I've never seen this pattern before, but 
it's made it, it a lot tougher than it should well, be. Well, it yeah. is tougher. But now, this tells me that this seven ball must go in that side pocket. I still think it doesn't go. It must go, Jim. It's yeah, got to sure. go because otherwise there's no way he would play this pattern. Well, yeah, I don't think he purposely played this pattern, but this is a, the way it's wound up. And that's, but this is eight ball. You've got you to take what the table... You've got to change your mind sometimes and figure something out. You know what I mean? It's uh, not easy to put the cue ball exactly where, where you want it, but it did go the wrong way, in my opinion, uh, uh, from the start. Is it when you're out there the under pressure... Now? He's playing for the seven now. Oh, look at this. When you're out there under pressure, you see things completely different. Well, and it's I can't completely believe what I'm watching here, Daz. This is completely, this is completely the wrong he, he's, pattern. He's under pressure and he's just... He's played um, for the seven. Losing the cue ball. But he's that played should be his for the seven. Ball. He's played for the seven just now. But now he's got to take the two ball. He's got to take the two ball and he's got to cannon the stripe between the three in the middle of the table. Amazed that he never took the one and the, and the two in the side and come down for the six. He might be he okay here, the, you know. Through the gap. Yeah, he's been very oh, fortunate. He's, hooked. he's been very fortunate. If he gets he's, a shot. he's got a shot. That's he's unbelievable. Hooked. He can bend it. He can bend it, Jim. He could play it off the ball. He could play it off the ten. That's a poor shot, that is. If you're going to play that shot, don't play it tough enough to go past the eight ball. But if you're going to play that shot, Chris, why not come round the angle, round the back of the eight? Well, yeah, you've no, that you've was no, the shot. no, there's no reason to play that. You can end the ball in the middle of the table. I know that, but you could have come off the side rail, bottom rail, round the back of the eight, yeah, it's and not get position that way. I'm just saying, it was an option. I think that coffee's a bit strong for you, pal. Oh, uh, I think you can pop this. I think it's amazing well, that you can see anything of this seven ball. This well, I think I think you can see enough of this to spin it in. Yeah, he's loading it out with English. Got to be careful I mean, of the cue ball. If, this, if he gets out here, James, Jason's going to be absolutely screaming. As well. Wow. wow, you landed perfect. Absolutely, Jason's going to be absolutely sick. Jason's he can't great. believe how lucky he's been there. He could, he, he could uh, he, this isn't an easy shot under pressure. Yeah, but after making that shot, he's just, uh, he's just, he's, he's got out of it, and if you know what I mean, he's got away with it. So yeah, he's certainly got lucky there. Big time. <laughs> Whoa! Did that go in? I thought he stayed over the pocket. <laughs> well, so jumpy. Oh he's wow. so jumpy on the queue. For anybody watching, that is the worst thing he can do under pressure. That's in Look at Jason. The moment that you jump up, everything moves, including your head, your queue, your arm, everything. Wow. That is an unbelievable run out, considering he was never in position. Not one ball was he in position. Unbelievable. That was one of the shakiest run outs I've ever seen. Well, that's Paul. He's certainly blessed, but he took some uh, big pots out. He did. Got to give him credit End there. Day, he got yeah, out. You know, on the seven ball, though, it landed in a situation where he hit as much as he could of it. Yeah, it was a yeah. line. I mean, it was it's a sort line of like it. it was a great line in some ways. If the eight ball wasn't there, he might have missed it. You know what I'm saying? It's weird. And obviously, the eight ball there, I mean, well, I mean, Jason's going to be up. So you can see he just can't believe what he's watched. He just can't believe it. Look at him. So the best thing Jason can do is but uh, force it happens. Shoot out. It, it happens. We all we all get luck and we all we all get away with it sometimes. And you just take it on the chin. And uh, Jason's got to pray he gets an opportunity now. He can't even look. Jason can't even look at the table. He can't even look at the table, Chris. He can't bear to watch this break. Well, he needs Torsten to break, dry, or scratch. Well, is it, is the, it then the best break of his match? He hasn't made one though. No. Nothing in. Oh, oh that's wow! My God! And look at the look at the stripes. Look at this. Look at the stripes. That's unbelievable. He's got the two in the top corner. First shot. First two shots. Well, if that thirteen passes a six, it, it yeah, is, that's what I'm talking is, about. Yeah. Is a, is if that ball goes in there, he's virtually out. I think he can play off the seven as well. I think that it could be a big pocket. Yeah, he can play off the seven. And to be fair, he's got to play that shot anyway, unless he's got a three ball combination. He could actually play down for his two bad balls right now. Yeah, he does. Exactly, he if he can pop that in there, it's over. over. Yeah. If he can make that 13 ball in the corner and get position on the uh, the two stripes the together, the, 15, it's, yeah. it's, uh, the game's over. 
I'd much prefer to get rid of the 10 as well earlier, but when you're playing a shot that guarantees your position, yeah. you've got to play it. Ta tackle I mean, your problem. If Jason get an, doesn't get an opportunity here to get on the uh, to make to tie this match up, he's going to be absolutely sick. I mean, really, really sick. And you'd have to feel sorry for him. You've got to really feel sorry for him if you don't get a chance here. I mean, the way Thor Thorsten's feeling, he, he can't guarantee I mean himself. Well. The thing, the thing is here, uh, Imran. If he plays the pink stripe and he hits the six, it's probably still going to go in off the seven. So he can't really miss this, the pink stripe. What, this first ball, you yeah. mean? Yeah, I yeah. think it still goes in, even if he hits it that bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Darren said that. It goes up to seven as well. Well, I mean, Jason done everything he can to get back in this match, 10-9, and since then he's done nothing wrong, right? I can't believe if he's shooting this ball. I can't believe he's shooting this ball. Well, if it's a bigger pocket, isn't it? Maybe the 13 doesn't go. Wow. That is, that is never, ever, ever the shot. But to be fair, though, Chris, it was coming, wasn't it? The miss was coming. You, you can't keep getting away with it. Wow. Right? You can't, no, keep, you can't, you can't keep getting away with it. And this is not an easy finish, isn't it, either? Well, I'll put my money okay. where my mouth is and say that Jason's going to clear up here. What a terrible shot. He's, he's quit. Yeah. He's completely quit on first, the shot there. Shot. But he should it's be playing for the ball down the rail next shot. He has played for it. He's completely quit now. He's under pressure. This is a big pressure shot right now. Well, if there's anybody you want playing this, oh, this yeah. is the right man. I know that, but I'm just saying it's very, very missable. And he's going to punch it in as well. He can't punch it in. He's got to roll it in, hasn't he? For the four on the side pocket. He's going to punch it. I know his game. Punch it? He'll definitely punch this. There's no way he's rolling this. He has to roll it. Oh. Oh. Great shot, great shot. Only just. It's still a great shot. It was, yeah. It was. Well, you, you have no idea the pressure is under here because he knows, you know what I mean? He's thinking, I have to win this Grack. Because let's be honest here, if it goes to a shootout, we know who's the favourite. Yeah, especially the way Thorsten's uh, feeling at the moment. So in some ways, in Jason's mind, this rack is ill, Ill Hill. Yeah. This is not easy. Oof. Wow. He's, he's had a little roll there, because if he hits that any thicker, he's uh, yeah, hooked. He could have, uh, can he miss this? Can he miss the 13? Yeah, yeah. he can. Wow, I don't like that. That's all. Oh, there's a ball over the pocket. Yeah, that. six ball over there on the corner. I was just looking at these two on the side rail. I didn't see the six. Well, the key with this shot, over it the shot. Don't under it it. Yeah. Because you've got two balls to play for. Yeah. Realistically, it wants to be on the two ball. Yeah. No, the one ball. Well, I think the one's touching. No, well, because the one, the two goes in the corner. He wants to get straight on this one ball. Oh, that's perfect. Absolutely perfect. If it's touching the cush, no, you need to be careful. It's just off the cush. But you know, like you say, it still needs to be careful. Absolutely perfect. What a big shot here, folks. Wow, great shot. Brilliant shot. shot. Shootout time. I'll just play a soft draw shot here and play the eight ball in the side pocket. And we will have ourselves a deserved, a deserved shootout, I believe. We called it. It would have been nice for either player to lose this match in, in regular time. And this was, in the end, a great finish. What a great match. Well done, both players. Great, great match. So we have a shootout. Both players played a unbelievable match, Chris. To be fair. Yeah. I mean, obviously there's been a bit twitchy, a little, bit. A, a little bit twitchy, but I mean it's understandable. The pressure's unbelievable. You have to feel a little bit for Torsten. He had the chance to win, but Jason still had to make a good clearance to uh, right, stay yeah. in the match. Yeah, I mean that was a monster finish, sir. I mean Jason come with some massive outs, didn't he? When you look back from uh, what. 8-5, he's come with like three or four massive, look that shot, he kicked in that ball there was unbelievable, he's made some massive outs. I still think Thorsten chose the wrong stripe. Oh, no, without a doubt, yeah he's sort of better. It definitely went off the The last two the games, let's be honest, I mean he was struggling wasn't he? Yeah. I know he won yeah. the previous game but he, he didn't really deserve to win that game so I think the both players on, on would be happy, you know what I mean? Well, I know he's happy out of the two. Yeah, but uh, still not guaranteed is it? There's pressure and anything can happen It's not, but if I was a bookie pricing this up, Jason would be a one to four shot. Exactly what I was going to say. So we have a shootout, it's a spot shot. The first shot, you can put the cue ball, you can place the cue ball anywhere behind the line and shoot the eight ball into either bottom pocket. 
bottom left or bottom right. Then shot number two, you put the cue ball on the edge string spot and the eight ball on its spot, and you've got, to, you've got to make the eight ball into the bottom left, I believe. And then the third shot, you put it... Uh, uh, shot number three is uh, like a diamond off from the side rail and the, and the top rail, and that will be the first shot. And then you rotate the sides... I'll, I'll explain as each shot comes up because it's important to commentate on each shot exactly, here. Yeah. So Torsten's got the option now. I think Torsten will make a few of them, but... Well, this is a big one. He can't afford to miss this one. This is like well, our free shot. He's so jumpy on the queue I that know, I just I can't see him putting these I balls. think he's going to stay down now. I think he'll make this he one. He might make a few of them, but he won't. I don't think he'll make them all. Why is he... There you yeah, go. Did you see that? He got up even before oh, he pulled his queue oh. back. That's Trust me, I can one. tell when a man's going to miss. I understand, Chris. You, c you can see the nervousness in his, in his I mean, play. But, I mean... He got up even before he pulled his cue back. Well, that's pressure, guys. Let's... Let, let's, uh, let's uh, I mean, pressure's pressure, you know what I mean? It's, uh, it's well, not this, easy. Well, this shot's missable. No, this is, I think this is the toughest shot out of the lot for some reason. That's, this, is, gets, this shot gets missed more than any other, more than any other shot. He's going to make this in the bottom left. If he makes this, then he's a massive favourite. I think he's going to make it. It's too good not to. Well, he can miss this oh, one. Tell you. That's the most missed shot, Chris. Jason. Well, that'll give uh, Thorsten like a bit of confidence, I think. Yep, this, well, he's kind of walking this, out the This arena. shot is missed more times than it's made, trust me. And this is Thorsten's chance to get back in it now. He just needs to relax a little bit. How do you stop jumping? You stay down on the shot. Don't lift oh, your well, head. At least his pre-shot routine's a bit better this time. The last one, he just got straight down. Because it's an easy... The, the first one's a free shot, so you think, oh, you're supposed to make he it. He needs to stay down. Okay. You can tell if he's going to make it by the head movement. I think he'll make this, Chris. He's up. Look how quick he's up off the queue. His head was up before he hit the ball. The first time was even quicker up. I mean, it's that bad. I sort of feel sorry for him. Well, I promise you now, the next shot, don't look... When he hits the ball, uh, Chris, I, I, just just watch. Yeah, you can see the head. His head yeah, that's I'm all you've got to watch. Yeah, I, feel, I feel a bit sorry for him, to be honest. Well, he's had chances. Oh, this, uh, if this goes in, he's in massive trouble. I think Jason will make this. Jason. Uh, yep. So the score is now 2-0 to Jason. Jason's played three shots, and Torsten's going to be playing his third shot here. So it's not a must-make, but in some ways it is. He, really, he has to make this one. He needs some coaching from me. He has me to this make this Thorsten. one, Chris, to have any chance. It's got to stay down. It's, I mean, it's elementary. It's just basic gotta, just fundamentals. Just got to train yourself. Tell yourself, stay down, stay down. And he should have a pre-shot routine. Just watch. He, he, he hasn't even aligned looks himself properly. a bit properly. better on this one, though. You can see it's a mile off. It, it, only that, Chris. Is it in the cue ball? With unwanted English. It's coming across the cue ball like that. He's playing the side. Yeah. It's, it's coming across the cue ball, sorry. You yeah. know, when you post play with a touch of outside, he's, he's end up hitting with a touch well, of inside. Well, personally, I don't play these shots with any side whatsoever. The moment yeah. you put side on, the moment you bring yourself in trouble. Yeah, playing ball. This is probably the best way. Everyone's missed shootouts. I mean, obviously, sometimes we make them all, like Chris did, but we all, we all, we've all missed these shots, but yeah. obviously not like this. Jason I mean, should uh, cream uh, this now. Speaking personally. Yeah, there you go. So that's game over. Uh, I mean... You, Unbelievable match, great match. Let's great not get match. away from the match here. It's one of the all-time classics, I think. Uh, really enjoyed it. Really, really enjoyed the company of Imran and Chris. Uh, it was a great match. Uh, really enjoyed it. And what are your thoughts on that, guys? Yeah, unbelievable. Uh, for me, I feel f sorry for Thorsten there. I think he played just a little bit better than Jason. Always had uh, the match in his command. And uh, only did Jason go up in the end to take a, a lead by 11-10. But the whole way during the match, Thorsten had a lead and, you know, dom dominated the match, I think. So you've got to feel for him there. Well, uh, that just shows you what the pressure can do. I mean, obviously, Thorsten's a multi-time major winner and he's missed the spot shots there by quite some distance. 
and it just shows you what can happen when you're feeling it. And like Darren said, we've all done it, I've done it, you've done it, and uh, we'll all continue to keep doing it, and that's the beauty of the game. Yeah, it's a tough one. Uh, I mean, but I mean, Jason, you've got to give him so much credit. He was he was trailing the old match. He's battled and, and he's battled. He's come with some yeah, massive definitely. finishes just to stay in there, just to get his nose in front, and then and then nothing went his way at the end of the match. And Torsten, obviously, if Torsten would have won the two the last two racks and he played them smoothly and it went to a shootout, I think he would have done better in the shootout because he was sort of all over the place in the last two racks, Chris. I think that carried over to the Rolling shootout. that ball down the rail in the last rack, Jason, under massive pressure, was a great shot. Oh, yeah. I wonder what uh, Clenty Catch is thinking. Well, be thinking, well he'd rather play Thorson than Jason. <laughs> I mean, at the end of the day, you're in the semi-final, you're playing... Your, I mean, you can't be thinking, oh, uh, it, it don't matter who you're playing, does it? Once you get to the semis, you're yeah. playing. You're playing the table, and how the balls come out, and you've got to take your opportunities. And what an intriguing, fascinating. Well, that's going to be a great matchup on paper. Jason uh, versus Clinton. What do you think of that one, Chris? Think? A lot of people like could argue match? they're the number one and two players in the world right now. Yeah. Well, for me, from what I've seen, you'd have to make Clint a favourite. I thought Jason played really well though. I thought he played well, but I thought he made more errors than Clint made in his match.